The, they're odd. They're the ruins, have, but they're new. Uh, it, 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 uh, they're called the new ruins because they uh, are the, of the four sets of ruins. They're the most recently ruined. I think it was. I they were ruined. Uh, they were ruined in the last fifty years, I believe, is the uh, the timeline. Besides, we don't even know what ruined them. Um, <laughs> well, actually, we do, don't we? Yeah, they were created by a, a rich merchant, and uh, eventually uh, they were taken over by that blood cult that was uh, that you guys killed in the uh, second room. But we lost the necromancer we picked up on the way there, so we will uh, weep for him. Which I'm sad about, because we really could have made it we, better for everyone. We, we could have had more necromancers in the world as he taught them in the university. You just have to uh, view necromancy in the right frame of mind. That's all. I think he it's saved fun. my life, so I'm glad he gave. <laughs> I, I, I think we should try and raise him. I think a necromancer would want to be made into an undead zombie servant. Um, <laughs> sure. <laughs> it's, yeah, uh, some Somebody who has it glorious can do it. I... I you, don't have you probably course. have him and most of the other <coughs> servants of this temple wandering around in one way or another. And that's why we don't have vermin free. <laughs> and and that's and that's why we just don't get nice things. Actually, we do have vermin free, but I thought it was funny to call zombie servanters why we're not. We have one more room we could try to get rid of a duplicitous Lord Dalton, or we can leave at this point, and by the time I return, we'll... Uh, He'll be gone. There's no one really es uh, left else to recruit in here. We still have the the madman with us. No, we have the wizard with us. We have the wizard. The scholarly wizard uh, angel is with us, uh, and he has Haket scepter, which we've been told can uh, can heal. And uh, the wizard who holds the uh, the scepter, um, he's not. Uh, He's not sure if it will or will not, but he's willing to uh, go along with us and help us out. Um, I will. Uh, I will start this with Rusty. Rusty, is it worth one more set of Q and Ds to clear a room? Um, I'm looking at the longboat here, and we could possibly collect enough treasure to buy ourselves religiously inspired from it. From that room. From that room. Okay. Well. It's a it's a def mod minus one. We just tell the tell the lads that we need to kill this uh, uh, Lord Dalton because Lord Dalton was supporting a blood cult and uh, and he would not deny that. Didn't we pass Lord Dalton before and um, ignore, and he ignored we ignored him and he ignored us. There's a. Oh, I'm reading that he's in the third antechamber, and I'm counting across one, two, three, Rusty. There, there are a number of names that are very similar. So, oh, okay, so, so we've never been, we've never seen the Lord. No, we had to find. No, I don't think we've actually gone okay. into that. I'm going to solicit comments from the Red group. on or, uh, Rusty on my notes. We did fight uh, the consort of Borden, and maybe you're getting Borden and Dalton. Maybe. So. And we've seen Dalton, he's on the subcommander tables as somebody we haven't been fighting so we weren't automatically wounded. So we've been seeing his name. Okay. So so anybody want to do this? Anybody have a strong opinion one way or another? Well, you know, I'm always down to for the longboat to be religiously inspired, says the wannabe priest of the high gods. Okay. Um, then we're... I yeah. cannot yeah, pick I up prudence and forethought for doing it. I probably could pick up prudence and forethought for avoiding it. So I would be a nay. I think we actually should do it because you know that if we don't take care of this guy now, he's going to go start another blood cult somewhere else. Well, he didn't start the blood cult just in his own defense. Uh, but yeah, we already we already killed the demon that started it. There, he'll go and settle probably in the nearest city. And let me see what that would be. Uh, he oh, would probably would he would probably had to to, to moot Arakan, and then we would we can run into him there, uh, if we wished. But yeah, with again, the same table. So. I'm ambivalent both ways, so. Well, if, um, hmm. So we've got 
two. Let's do it. One against. Red's going to abstain. Laura, do you want to... No, no. Fight? Red was one of the against because he could get his prudence. Oh, well, then uh, I guess Laura's the tiebreaker. Do you want to... Well, we'll... Her character. All right. So... So I guess it's it's me my decision then. As party leader, <laughs> yes it is. All right. We're going to circle. It. Heck heck with it. We'll do it. Okay, here we go. We do have that one soak off guy that we can take a wound for us. All right, I'm on the Q&D defeat sub table again and we're at minus one of the rolls. We'll start with Rusty and here comes your card and your card is a uh, King of Swords. Not a bad card. Do you want to do our posting this week, Mike? Uh, do we still have our quest pip from last week? Yes, plus one. Okay, then if then if Rusty fails this roll, we don't. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, bark your commands and get organized. Success and toggle the quest pip on. Else, upon fail, toggle it off. Difficulty 10, advantage, any swagger type A. Oh, let's see here. Uh, I have all the swagger type A's. I have three of them as glorious. Wow. Uh, and only ingenious blades. Uh, let's see. I, I would. You, you I think go, we'll. Uh, you could go for elite goals on a longboat, Rusty. On a roll of a nine. I don't think we have that in the party, do we? No, no, I'm I'm saying he can try swaggering longboat elite goals and make it in the party, Mike. But right now we've got a quest pip canceling out his death mod. I think it's probably safer for Rusty to just preserve that. But it's Rusty's role. I'll shut up. What do you mean? Uh, so I don't understand uh, what uh, what you're saying. We I'm have saying the, make it we make an advantage quest. elite goals. Oh, okay. On a roll of a nine, you not only uh, preserve our quest pip of plus one, you uh, you would pick up elite goals for the longboat. Well, it's a the ten. Boat. It's a death mod of one and then a quest pip of one, so that's a... Uh, Thank you, Mike. It's a ten. Great, great ten roll. So it's and two rolls fail. Two rolls for a ten if we lose our we lose our plus one. Okay, exactly. I, think, I think we'll just do three. There we go. Got it. Okay. And uh, we kept our quest pip. I go on to uh, Laura. Laura, you got yourself an ace of coins. Beautiful card. Still looking for your card bit or your character? I'm going to have to Just kill him already, please. He's not even the main boss. Success and the full command of the vulnerable. They've already said she'd be slain. The battle is over. Difficulty 9 advantage. Any spider. Is it a defense modifier? Uh, but we have a quest pip, so it's just a straight nine. So it's straight nine, so maybe I should go with a swagger that I might be able to gain. You could do that, yeah. Yeah. Do you get two rolls or three, Laura? Well, Are you level seven or eight? I, I, I just turned like eight at the end of the last mission, although it didn't save my changes, so I need to do the changes again. So right. you get three okay. rolls for a <laughs> nine. That should work. Yeah. Yeah, I think I can go for the swagger. Um, that's. Can I go for a boy swagger? Any swagger. Yeah, let's try gladiatorial. Gladiatorial blade. Three, di uh, two dice for a nine, rolling three times. Seven. Nine. There it is. All right. All right. And the uh, you had a king flip me an inverted knave. And the man is uh, uh, invulnerable now. And Mike, you got a seven of um, seven bane. Seven bane. Uh, not as bad as the knave. Explain the futility of defiance. Fail and all characters lose trait, energetic, strategic benefits of fury or command pip. If this event has failed twice by the party, a random character suffers a vicious wound. Uh, we do not face hat hat ship. Hat, hat, she <laughs> uh, do not. Difficulty 12, advantage, any swagger type P. I only have one swagger type P. That is my glorious talking mount. Which I don't think I can use because we're in an underworld, correct? Yes, you can. 
I can. The ruins, we can use the uh, mounts in the underworld. And I yeah. should say, in the ruins. Okay, then uh, I'm just going to go ahead and take three... Mm, oh, wait, difficulty. Yeah, I'll just take three dice. I don't want to cause everybody to lose a trait. Okay. Here we go. And there's uh, no advantage. And I go over to Tony, and your card will be a three of coins. A three of coins. Let's hope that is kill the guy. It is not. Mm, that's unfortunate. All right. Grapple. Success in sub commander is now vulnerable. In a future event, he may be slain. If already vulnerable, fail, and he loses that condition. Difficulty 11, advantage, any swagger, type T. An 11 and a type T. Wrestling holds golden, inexorable, cosmic. Okay. I will use my wrestling holds, which I already have, to be to go three dice. Got it. And over to me. And I've got myself a queen of uh, coins. And the queen says... That Tarasin exhausts the foe. Success for the catford seed. If this roll is being ma- If this roll is being made... I didn't save from last week, huh? If this roll is being made with that bonus, a success will also award a tactics pip. No, I'm just going for the catbird seed. Any C, and it's a roll 11. That's pretty tough. 11, any C, I should probably go for uh, uh, charismatic style. I'll go for the personal ones. So give me a roll of 11 on two dice. Nope. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. We go on to uh, back to Rusty. And you got yourself two, Rusty. Not a bane. No, it's not a bane. Though he seemed invincible, there's a there's always luck success, and Subcommander is now vulnerable. In a f- future event, he may be slain. If already vulnerable, fail and increase warped outcome tally by <laughs> half a D8. Difficult, let's see, advantage, let's see, difficulty 10, advantage trait gifted. Uh, let's see, I th- I am trait gifted. Did we lose anything? Any gifted trait? No. No. Okay. Um, so I get three dice. Three dice for a ten. Oh, easily. What a Great what luck. a waste. <laughs> and uh, Laura, your card is a six, but not a bane. Mind and tangle. Try to take him hostage. Success and sub commander is now vulnerable. In a future event, he may be slain. Slain. If ooh, if already vulnerable, fail and suffer vicious. Difficulty thirteen. Any swagger to pick you. Find these sword arms and that lock of glorious. Good job. All right, so he is not, uh, you do not take the wound. I should say the guy with us does not take the wound, Angel. And then it's over to Mike. Uh, Mike, here comes your uh, temperance bane. Oh, so much fun. Uh, Let's see, ignore banes for the next full round of actions. However, the round after that, we're all going to get a bane. Oops, I misread that. Yep. And that would be your card, Mike. So I go over to Tony. And Tony, your action is a knight. A knight. I think that'll let you kill him. Exploit a perceived weakness. Success and subcommander becomes vulnerable. Ah, if already such, he is, ah, he is slain. The battle is over. But fail and suffer vicious wound. Difficulty 10, any swaggering type E. Oops. Um, like no. 10 E. Um, wow. I. Any swaggering. Does that include magic as well? So I can sure. use precognition? You can. Okay, then I will use precognition, three dice. And I'll slay him. All right. Good job. And that was, let me that was much easier than our last battle. <laughs> Sometimes they're like well, that. It took us a long time last battle to get him in, get them even vulnerable. Yeah. We had a bunch of cards that that would have gotten him that got him vulnerable. Well, that's uh that's a that Conrad's influence, I guess, by him not being here. I'm going to go over to the uh, the Caucus Region campaign map, and we're going to basically use an epilogue to move from the New Ruins to uh, to Mood Arakan, where we're going to try to heal the plague. Now, in this modified system I'm using, we're just uh, we're treating everything as Phase C. So here comes the card flip, Ace, 
A night followed by an ace is going to be a personal event. Let's start us all off with, um, how about with my guy since I'm so low level? And I'm going to give myself a two die roll of a seven to pick up Battle Cry because I have noticed that there is a, um, there's a set of snakes that could hurt our, our animals. And I roll, and I made that roll and picked up Battle Cry. And because I made a roll at low level, I'm also going to pick up my Crafty Deeds and Cunning Ploys. One more, and I go up a level. We're still in phase uh, C for the cards of flips we got. A five is not going to be good. That's an encounter number four in the in the sword sword. Uh, can I get card. battle for that last one at level seven? Because uh, uh, no, I no, no, you mean no. Nobody used to make roll. Yes, I, I understand that. But as a minus one uh, defensive modifier, that guy would be merely uh, horrible. Okay. Two, too, yeah. li too, too low. Too okay. little. Yes. Too little. You can count toward it, but uh, it's probably not going to be uh, something that's going to come up. Okay, let's see. Uh, that was a river, four sword rivers sword? and coast and seas. Sword 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 is going to become um, a, a some sort of challenge that we have to do. Um, I'm going to uh, since uh, Tony made the last roll, I got the last. Uh, I want to do Rusty. Rusty, here's a card on overcoming challenges, and I'll just cut and paste it for oh, you in the chat. Sword. And it is a moon. There are actually cards for moons. Let's see how bad the moon card is for us. I gotta. Uh, assuming up. Conrad has is correct. Oh, you know it would help if I'd be looking at the uh, at the right uh, table, isn't it? We're on sword sword four. Um, yeah, I'm. What I'm doing is I'm I'm going right to the um, the quick and dirty table underneath uh, the sword sword of rivers. Yeah, right. I think we, I think we have that for the. Do you have um? Well, but I. The most recent thing I put in the chat for the moon card. I'll sh I'm going to uh, let me uh, let me see if I can find that table. It's under the cup cup, I think, is where the majors are. So I need to get back up to the cup cup. These tables are long. Mm. I I'm close. I think cup coin. And uh, rank six. I should put more things in here. Ploys, Major Tarot. Did you read as a moon card, Mike? Are you reading? Um, are you reading the spirit which guides the ship? Hey, I look at that. that. We got it in the table in, then. Okay, yeah, I have one. that, but it's also inverted, so I'd be looking at the soldiers refuting with the sailors more than usual. So um, the spirit which guides the ship has transcended her, her opus. Inverted, the soldiers are feud, uh, feuding with the sailors even more than usual. If the rank of the card, which prompted event, is a four, ooh, the lowest level character is shaken until in the conclusion of the encounter. Well, that stinks. Okay, I'm shaken. Here's your card, Rusty. How about a nine of rods? I need to go to sword, sword again. Go back to my uh, table of contents. Uh, do you have a four, uh, sword, sword, uh... Oh, Mike, I don't know if I, I mean. Do you have a, a, a four sword, under that sword, table? I have um, aid the injured to reach the vessel. They can finish healing there. Fail and encounter escalates into combat. Blah blah. Uh, aid the injured. Yeah, uh, uh, go ahead and read that once more for us, uh, Mike. Aid the injured to reach the vessel. They can finish healing there. Fail and encounter escalates into intramural combat. Players must start with a brash bane. If the rank of the event is common or catch-all, it is not. Uh, difficulty six, advantage, uh, skill, barber surgeon. And this is for you, Rusty. Are you a barber? I don't think so, but let's see. It's only a roll of six, and you have plus one for the quest pip, so you would right, think. Right, so barber would be. It's under. Um, uh, it's under. Artisan. Uh, it's under rugged. Oh, oh, there it is, under rugged. No, I am not a barber, surgeon. Uh, so I need a six. You would need a six. My, a plus one is a five. Look at that. He's getting two. He starts the game with two good rolls. Uh, that uh, that roll uh, there keeps us from going intramural combat, but I do not think it ends the encounter. So I go to Laura. Laura, your card in the same area is a sun card. Go ahead and post it for us, Mike. Inverted. The Norns tie your skein tight. If any combat results, the selecting player starts with the catbird seat. We're not actually in combat at the moment, but uh, yeah, in fact, it is overcoming cho uh, toil. We'll interpret that as a as from this card, uh, Laura. The Hermit. Give us a Hermit there, Mike. Oh, an inverted Hermit. So much fun. Here's my 
mere accident or a forgotten score being settled at the rank of the encounter event, which prompted his routine, it is not. I'm already shaking. I don't want to be double shaking. Knave! Knave is not a good card, I'm afraid to say. And it is, uh, you do get plus three for the cat bird, Laura. Go ahead. Stop two men from fighting, more so, put an end to the rest and join the spectacle. Fail and drain of one wizard root technique. Clear has the magic increase for alpha and value by the eight. The event that occurs. Uh, difficulty seven. Swagger is seven below. Seven. I do have it. So three dice for less than seven. Three dice for six. Three dice for six and easily made. And so I go over. Still in the battle, Mike. Here it comes over to you. How about a nay? Why don't you do the same thing? Stop another different two men from fighting, or stop Laura from fighting with one of the men that she stopped. You know what? I don't have Disarming Blow, so I could use Defender or Demonic, but I'm going to try and pick this one up, because I have three chances to roll a six. Okay. And you've picked it up. And I'm finally going over to Tony. Tony, a queen. A queen. That's got to be good. Uh, not really. Okay. Great. <laughs> <sighs> Reuniting Dark to Dark. Assembling before a camp was truly established. Use torches and signal flares to light the way to home. Fail and increase your warped out your warped outcome tally by half a die eight. Suffer the event that occurs. Difficulty eight, advantage, mount radiant. Um, Do you have a glowing horse? Um, mount radiant. I do have a glowing horse. Okay, give me three dice for uh, seven, please. Oh, do I get to roll twice or three times? Or you do. Roll? It's a Q and D table, so if you're level eight, you do roll three times. I have succeeded. Yeah, a little bit of a possibility of a little more intrigue there than we needed. And six of coins for me. A six says, I amputate a lingering cancer of the party and leave him unburied for the walls. Boy, that is oh, ugly. That's, that's nasty. Fail and the encounter escalates in intramural combat. Players must start to battle them with method irregular. If the character has blade uh, gladiatorial, difficulty decreases by three. Blade gladiatorial I do have. And uh, is this uh, an infrequent? It most definitely yes. is, and a catch-all. So I'm going to uh, fail and suffer a vicious wound. So uncontested dagger thrust of an S... It's but something I do not have. I could use minus the longbow. We actually brought democracy with well, us. Hold on, hold on, Red. Be, it's a difficulty seven, and then you have blade gladiatorial, so that becomes four. And yes. then the quest pip, that becomes a three. So I think you should just not worry about covering it and just pick up uncontested dagger thrust. All right. I listened to the yeah, wisdom of uh, Mike, and I'll pick up uncontested dagger thrust, which is nice. Weren't you shaking That, as that well? suits my character as well. As He being... was, but he still made it with a okay. four. Conniving, uh, yes, he is still even made it with five. Conniving and uh, and cowardly man uh, of the nobility. So I'm, and we're still in this table, unfortunately. So I'm going to go over to Rusty uh, one more time around. I'll take us out automatically. But King, I think, will allow us to get there, Rusty. Before setting sail, finish the drudgery: splitting firewood, digging a well for unsullied water, smoking meat. Up ending and cleaning the hall, etc. Success in this encounter ends. Difficulty six, advantage, skill slave driver. I am not a s slave driver. But you only need a five on two dice. I only you... need a five. And, you're and I get to roll twice. Your level. So. And you made it. So we come back to the ship and find out that they haven't been keeping the whole thing up. And Rusty gets rather mad, which makes me frightened. And then eventually we put everything right. Uh, we are on the caucus uh, map, and I think we have effectively reached our longboat, and we are now moving to Tumarican. Maybe one more encounter would get us there. A 10. Look at that. Did I? Am I a psychic or what? So we reach to Tumarican, and uh, we bring out the wizard uh, angel, and he walks the streets. And it seems like it's not really curing the disease, but you notice that uh, a lot of the women... Uh, that, or, or at least a number of the women uh, that he has passed as he moved through the street are now pregnant. So it is more of a fertility type of device that you have there. Um, 
And um, it, uh, it's a knit wash in the sense that the amount of people you're losing from plague are being replaced now by the magic of the wand. Um, when you decide to try to repeat that same uh, effect in Tiflis, it seems to work there as well. But then when you head back to Tamut Arakan, uh, they, they complain that the uh, plague was reoccurring after you left. So you can only really cancel the plague uh, where you leave this man. So where would you like to leave this man? And uh, uh, Rusty, you made the first decision. I'm going to go to Laura. Laura, uh, did you want to leave this man in Rostov, our own uh, budding uh, city-state? Did you want to leave him in Tamut Arakan, which is definitely a place that uh, is... Uh, suffering from the plague and that would make them an ally to us or did you want to uh, go down to Tiflis <laughs> totally can't hear what anything Laura's saying she's thinking Rostov okay. I think she's still thinking What I was saying is, I think maybe in our own place, so we don't have our own people rebelling against us, unless more advantageous to make the um, alliance. So well, I think there's good good wisdom in that. The uh, in that in Rostov right now, we have about 300 people plus you know some of our own uh, villagers. We're trying to build a city there, so sure, preventing this guy from having. If we leave him in Rostov, then by the time we get back, we will have a village of 400 villagers. We we could if we uh, if we. Stay away for nine months. It could be that way. Of course, by if we if we leave him rossed off for nine months and there's a village of four hundred, uh, we may have to deal with this guy pretending that he's a minor god. We have to beat another cult there. But if we if we decide that the uh, attributes of the hel- of the Hakel uh, staff are um, are related to our own deity. Uh, as Laura said, it's the only it's the only supernatural creature that's ever treated us with any sort of dignity. Uh, the the Lord High um, uh, Glitnir, of course, where we also carry the holy the holy vessel of Glitnir in our party. Um, we have started our religion, and uh, yay! I just finished a new set of rules, all related to religion, and they're I all. I saw that. I got the email this morning. And they're all exceedingly <laughs> nasty, and. Uh, it, they're similar to it's similar to the uh, cutlass uh, reforming a church, and we are going to start right with uh, E. Uh, we 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 jumped from uh, A to E in our uh, in our advancement of the of the temple, and the first decision we have to make is that I am claiming high priest. I'm sure Mike is going to disagree with me on that, and he may. I'm going to go around the table. I'll start with Mike, and then come and stop with Laura. Mike, are you a high priest in the um, in the in our cult of, of, of Glitnir. You know, unlike the other guy who claims to be the high priest, I've met Glitnir. So yes, of <laughs> course I am a high priest. Okay, so I got uh, I got Mike's character as well. And uh, Tony, are you going to claim uh, high priest uh, status in, in no, the... No, uh, I am not. Uh, Tony is a no. Now, you're not going to ever escape the fact that you're guilt by association by traveling with us, but um, it will make uh, it'll make certain decisions a lot easier for you. And uh, I am there, so I will go ahead and uh, throw my hat in the ring. If, it, if I can, you know, get a temple out of this that I'm running as part of a franchise, sure, I'll take the uh, I'll take the Greenwich Chicken franchise in, um, in Barda. And Rusty, did you want to be a high priest in the um, in the budding uh, church of uh, Glitnir? I'll take it if I can uh, take growth for it. You most definitely can take growth for that. I'll take it. And uh, Rusty is in as a high priest. And uh, your holiness, your excellence, your your omnipotence. And uh, I'm looking at mine and uh, prudence of forethought. I don't know if I can check it for this church, but it's close. And Laura, Laura, would you uh, would you like to be a high priestess in our in our church? No, I'm the general. Yeah, so I love you. The head of the church's military. I love you for sidestepping that question in such a good way. Oh, that was beautiful. Laura says uh, no, but she's going to be uh, the the head. If we, um, you know, this is actually the the tables have this. The follow up uh, quest after E could take us over to where we need to form a warrior cult to protect the church underneath the uh, the high priests, and there's chance that the 
the religion morphs into that uh, warrior cult and we lose the other uh, aspects of it but i'm going to put you down for a no just to start and uh, fred and conrad i'm going to put them down for no abstaining and bruce is busy trying to form his uh his university which we're going to rename the university of glitnir and uh, that puts us into the next mission we need to recruit two die eight and mike i'll allow you to make that roll go ahead and give me two die eight all right, thirteen. Oh, all hey, right. We need to only... thirteen. We need to recruit thirteen NPCs oh. into the fold. I wanted to roll low then. Uh, well, you didn't know there. that. There. <laughs> we are opposed by Yorick. Yorick is trying to bring back the Sea God, and he is a sorcerer. Whenever we have tables that we need, to th- that he's going to hurl at us. We've lost our quest pip again, and uh, we still have the uh, the do I Claudia, Claudia as well, who are opposed to us just being in this area. Is so this lots a new of people quest get... for uh, replenishing our boat? Yes, I was going to just go into that. I just want to make okay. sure that Mike is not in limbo. Mike, do. You... Did you on the uh, warped outcome table? Are you waiting for a roll to show what uh, aspect of uh, magic you are? Or? Yeah, I'm at warp thirty-seven. All right, let's go down there, uh, t- um, Tony. If you want to do the honors, what are you at, uh, Mike? In your uh, in your warped outcome is uh, thirty. Where am I at? I'm at thirty. I'm sorry, I'm at thirty-nine, which is locked until we resolve thirty-seven, and then I go to fifty. Okay, so Mike is going to jump to 50 right after this. Let's look at 37 on the warped outcome, uh, Tony. That's where I'm going to need to roll two dice, and then that's going to... I think that's two dice, and that's going to determine the um, uh, which aspect I do. I'm trying to... Well, Mike, you may uh, roll your two dice to determine your aspect, please. Right. Nine. Right. What does that give you? It's the perspective, uh, isn't it? Yeah. What pa- yeah, the perspective. Do you, do you have that page yet, Tony? I'm still... I have those. Yeah, give me one sec here. Yeah. Here's your nine perspective. Nine oh, perspective. Cut off the bottom. I'm sorry. I was hoping for that one. I just became um, uh, the humble You're healer skeptic. guy from Barony. I just lost my faith in my own magic. Oh, I was hoping for that. No, no, I was hoping for that because it's be the funny. funniest one. You've got to be funny. Uh, while we're doing the housekeeping stuff, when you go up to level eight, how many skills do you gain? Three, I think. Uh, yeah, you, 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 I, I'll get to that in just a second. I'm trying to see some of the nuance of this. So you actually can use your magic, but you're... Uh, it's... No, that's why I brought up... Uh, it was Ryan the Humble Healer, right? Who healed you by just saying that's just a flesh wound. He didn't believe Right, magic. yes. He doesn't understand it. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. So you... Um, I don't think that was... I think that was... Was that, was that Ryan or was it Gregory? Oh, maybe it's Gregory. I don't. I can't remember myself either, Mike. Cause so many decades ago. But um, sure. So you actually do magic by denying your magic. Yeah, you should try to apply that as much as you can into play. And then, Lauren, yeah. answer your question. Let me go to the table here and, and tell you. You got. Um, you got uh, your initial skills. Your uh, your advancement. Here it is. Um, skills and leveling. At level eight, you get four bonus skills. All right. Now, as part of this, we can go around to different places and pick up um, uh, NPCs. But one of the easiest places to pick up NPCs is like we have... Oh, and our number has uh, dropped to um, 11 right off the bat. Because we have... uh, Who is it? Ulf. We have Ulf and we have Angel. Angel from the New Ruins. I thought Laura had Angel go to Rostov. Uh, yeah, he's in Rostov, but he counts as uh, uh, one Still of the 13 recruit- men we've recruited. Uh, oh, okay. Rostov. Great. Now, these guys do not have to be recruited to the church. They have to be recruited, you know, to help us build the church, to organize the church. So they can be uh, non-believers or secular <coughs> people. They just need to be part of the retinue that we build around us. So we have uh, Ulf, the vizier of Rostov and uh, with his men and we have angel uh from the new ruins uh with the uh the wand 
and those two we're going to put in Rostov for the moment. And I go to, um, um, I'm going to go to, let's skip over Tony. Tony, uh, since Mike was the one that last had an action. Uh, Tony, you get to decide where we're going to go to try to recruit NPCs. Cities have lots of NPCs. Ruins, at least half the, um, the uh, subordinates in there are looking to jump ship to someplace else. Uh, you could probably, um, you probably could recruit uh, minions from from uh, uh, captives of the uh, Saurians, the Lizardmen, and that's probably my, uh, that's probably all the advice I could give you at the moment. So where would you like to head with our boat? Um, well then with our boat, let's, uh, let's go to the grain-eating Saurians, because okay. they undoubtedly have, uh, uh, captives from Tiphilus and the High Runes. Absolutely. We're going to head for the Grand Eden Saurians with one uh, one phase of encounters. It's also one of our objectives, as you might remember, uh, to uh, establish our dominance in the re- uh, region, is that we should avenge the fact that the uh, our local villagers think that the Saurians were the ones that were behind it. That was from uh, two weeks ago. And uh, wise beyond his years. Here comes the encounters. Oh, uh, let's uh, before we do that, we want to make sure we go over to the longboat. We want to make sure that we improve our longboat, right? Let's count some stuff. Um, now, uh, we all know who's bold, but that doesn't really affect the group, but clevers affect the group. So uh, my guy is clever. Yes. Rusty, are you clever? Yes. Uh, Laura, are you clever? Yes. Uh, Mike, are you clever? Yes. Uh, Tony, are you clever? Indeed I am. And then Conrad will show up uh, next week and say, wait a second, I was clever, but we'll probably be playing uh, year 10 next week. And uh, I go on to uh, a methodical. How many methodicals do we have? Uh, I am I am methodical. Uh, Rusty, are you methodical? Yes. And Laura? Yes. And uh, Mike? Yes. And Tony. Indeed, I am. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, I'm going to use longboat swaggering for anything I do. <laughs> so you can just uh, lose it, huh? Well, not not that I can lose it, but I mean, it's going to be plus four to the dice roll, right? Oh, that's true. Plus for the dice roll, and then if I pick something where I have lots of, like, um, I'm pretty good in Bs, I'm pretty good in Gs, pretty good in Ks. So I can pretty much uh, grab a, or gosh, I even look at his R. So I got a lot of things where I can get plus seven to my dice roll if I need to do it on that. That would cancel a big defensive modifier. And we're going to go ahead, everyone can see the longboat that we have uh, we have there. Does anyone wish to uh, change the ashore, any uh, particular... I sort of like R. I'm going to move Treasure Laden off and move it to R. In fact, why don't we spend Treasure Laden right now? And I'm going to take it right off the boat since it's one of the easiest ones to pick up with the type of play we have and at the level we have. And uh, we'll go ahead and say that our Rostov, uh, we spent some wealth there to help get the foundation built. High walls. Any questions? We're heading toward the Grain Eaters. Here comes the first card. King. Well, now, King, good, King is going to represent some important figure in the campaign. And uh, Tumut Arakan, the uh, leader of that place, was saying, Wait a second, I thought you promised me uh, uh, that, that you were going to solve the plague. Who would like to be our spokesperson for that? It should be one of our uh, high priest wizards here. Well, <laughs> then it should be Rusty because you know he he's all magical and stuff. Who has courtly graces? Courtly graces? I think I have. I have courtly graces. Let's okay. see, nobility. I do not. Right. I I have courtly graces. Oh, and I do. Laura is not one of the high uh, high high priestess as well. Uh, Mike, uh, why don't you try first with a roll of a five on difficult? You're level eight, correct? Yep. Okay, give me a roll of five. There's an eight. 
And Mike has basically said, you dare to talk to the high priest of Glitner? No. Uh, what sort of tack would you take with him, Mike? Are you going to placate him and say, all in good time? Or are you going to basically tell him to shut up? Are you going to tell him that uh, we're going to we're gonna take one of your troublemakers away from you? That would be a good one. I will placate him because, you know, it takes time to cure these things now that magic has gone from the world. Okay. Um, I'm going to recruit one of his troublemakers to join us as a troublemaker. I think we want the Jester. The Jester is actually a victim of the plague, so I'm going to move him over to Rostov, a Jester uh, a Sigrid, and uh, wait, he... Wait, so you're bringing the plague to Rostov? So yeah, but well, Rostov you know, has the have healer. A, we, we have a counter of sorts to the plague in Rostov, at least from Mike's perspective, because uh. there is no magic, and from my perspective, that I think that wand is probably the best thing that the world has ever had um this guy has n numerous allies in the church of one faith and that's a good thing to add to the fact that those guys um i don't want to uh i don't want to call them christians but christian christian-esque the christian-esque religion of the campaign map um the god of the slaves he won't bother us as we start our new faith and that's that's probably a nice thing. Uh, unfortunately, the jester is totally inept as a jester, so it's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's it's the worst joke you never imagined. But we don't really need him as a jester anyway. Um, Tony, what are you going to make him into? Give him a title of some sort. Make him the mayor. A title. Um. Yeah, mayor. <laughs> Mayors have no sense of humor. Usually, they don't tell good <laughs> jokes. <laughs> You can put, oh, you know, enough. if you, if you need some actual classes on, uh, you know, types of people that are involved, I can pull that up for you. But I think you probably can get, you can think in, in terms of a fantasy game and you've encountered enough people. What, uh, you, we know we don't want to make him a jester because he's, uh, he's, he's terrible bad. at his humor. Well, I like the idea. I like Rusty's idea of making him a, um, making him the mayor of Rostov. Okay. He's our mayor now. What do you call an out of work court jester? Let me see if I can make a roll of a seven, at least to start with my dice rolls. In fact, I'm going to make roll okay, that. Sure. I don't want to even screw it up. I'm going to make roll that seven and check prudence to go up a level, so it's all a wash. That um, I'm going to I'm going to make sure that he is not only a little bit capable, but that he's enthusiastic about becoming the mayor. And uh, for what it's worth, as well, since we took a a a thorn in the side of the guy who runs a Rostov, a Lord August. We now have a Lord August as a, basically, if not an ally, he will not interfere as well. He will not oppose. We'll just... Writing some notes on the side here when I go dark for a moment. All right, so we are. Remind still... me for a moment who's Lord August? Uh, Lord August was the head of Tamud Arakan. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Um, Sigmund uh, is the mayor of Rostov. We had a Sigmund in the party, I thought, too. Wasn't that uh, Bruce's well, character? Was no, Sig Bruce was, Sigmund Bruce Nine Toes? Was, yeah, Bruce is Sigmund Nine Toes, but this is Sigrid. Oh, Sigrid. Yeah. Well, I miswrote it, so I, you know, I'm about to say that Bruce's character has turned NPC and is now the mayor of Rostov with his nine toes. Uh, Mike, heal his toes, if you would. Here comes the card, uh, three of rods. Uh, King followed by three, I'm going to go right around the table, Rusty. Rusty, on a roll of a three, I'll allow you to pick up another magic um, wizardry. I have all 20. You have all 20, Do they, are they all locked? No, they are not. Do you wish to risk locking one more, but if you roll two, you'll lose it? What's my roll? Uh, your roll is two dice. You need a three or better. Anything but a two. One and 64. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll do that. Okay. On, uh, uh, let's see. Um, we'll do it on uh, Celestial. Okay. It's a good one. Especially for a high priest. And you've locked that as glorious. I move on to uh, next uh, encounter with Lors if it comes up. A six. A six is not in phase, but it is a uh, encounter number three in the cup rod. Encounter number three cup rod. Trying to jump back here in my... Uh... I think I got it. 
And counter number three in uh, Cup Rod Survey from the highest point available. That's, um, yeah, that's that's the Q&D, though, isn't it, or not? Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to read to see what it is first. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, hold on to that, though. Um, Seas and Rivers, uh, Cup Rod, and it's going to be a discovery. And discovery of three is Ancient Ruins. Oh, gosh, there's another Ancient Ruins. Um, let's add one to the map. The new ruins, it really is not uh, not gone away. I think I may have a uh, a ruins that I can actually pluck. I'm um, looking. Oh, there it is. So we have the, there's the new ruins, the dry ruins, the high ruins, the wet ruins, and now there is the ancient ruins. Okay. The ancient ruins. Ah, it's Triton's Temple. That's good. Oh, this is even this is even special because uh, uh, we we have found by accident um, the uh, the guy that's opposing the mission, Yorick. We found Yorick's base. Let's go there and destroy Yorick. You guys are up for that, right? Absolutely. Sure. Yeah, let's kill Yorick, and um, it should it be twenty or forty? No, we don't want it to take all day. We're gonna we're gonna make it uh, we're gonna make it twelve. Uh, uh, black eels and these are uh, large eels uh, no they won't be large eels we can actually uh, we can actually attack them with um, at, for a die 8 loss or whatever um, we have to attack him though with uh, wizardry cup and bane of foul so wizard cup and bane of foul by the way your your cards are not showing any I haven't been showing for quite some time. Brent. My cards are uh, actually showing locally. Are you, are you guys losing them all or not? The last uh, thing I see me. is the Six of Cups Bane. Yeah. Yeah, the last I, couple of Six of Cups. Oh, so it's me then. It so might only be you, Rusty. Try doing a reboot of yours and see if they come back. If they don't, you'll just have to trust us for the moment. Um, but we I trust we everybody. somewhat trustworthy people. Now, here's the deal. Every round that... Uh, we still are in battle. The defensive modifier for him goes up by one. So it starts as zero and then it slowly climbs. All right. Does everyone understand the situation we're dealing with? We, but we to must attack him, we have to use wizardry. Yes, yep. you have to use wizardry. But here's here's what I've uh, decided with you, Tony. Whenever you uh, decide you don't want to go for uh, to add your wizardry because you don't want that with your character. I'll respect that, and you may uh, you may roll for any other um, swaggering technique under wizardry instead. You follow? Okay. So, yep, so you can absolutely. go for the boat, or you can go for your sword, or you can go for your mount. I believe that's actually in the rules. Okay. But so let's go over to uh, let's go over to the card flips here, and uh, I'm going to start with a uh, Mike. Now, Mike, you're you you may take a calculated action to try to kill the twelve eels, or you may flip a card, but it counts as Wizardry Cup as the suit, no matter what the suit is. Or if it's a Bane, it counts as a Foul Bane. So what, what would you want to do, sir? I am... Hmm. You probably should do Calculator or Recitation, I would think. I should. I'm just trying to see if I've got anything in... I might need to go... F I'm still looking through the list. Um, hmm. Oh God! What does that do? I'm trying to find one of the ones that uh, kills a bunch of dudes. There we go. Calculated G, crushing blow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine personal swaggering techniques. So that gives me a plus two, and then I have one, two, three um, uh, G swaggering techniques. So that gives me another plus two. Correct? Uh, sure does. So I am two dice plus four, roll three times. Uh, eight, eight, nine. Nine and four is a 13. A 13 on message, uh, 12 or better on a G is a dispatch. Half D8 opponent to one large adversary. Give me that half D8, please. Three. There's now only nine of the huge black eels that we are, should say huge. Uh, the nine of the black eels... Uh, foul black eels that we're fighting i go on to um tony what would you like to do sir um i will use my killer instinct and i will uh i'm going to try to take out some of these eels 
Okay. Um, I have Killer Instinct, Impetus, Lucid, and we're vermin free. So that gives me a plus three. That's three. Um, on personal swaggering techniques, I have 14, which gives me a plus four. Okay. So that's a plus seven. Plus seven. Two dice plus seven. Two dice Rolling plus three seven. times. There is a, a five. A nine. We'll take the 16, I guess. 16 will get you that full D8 once you roll it for yep. us. Yep. A die eight. How about three as well? Mm. And I will do... Um, let me see if I can do... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me double check that. I did K instead of N. Uh, yeah, it is a full D8. Okay. Now, if I go to uh, N as well... I No, I wouldn't do N because I don't have any pluses there. I would do R, Speed and Guile, probably. Um, but I... Longboat. I would do it as Inhuman Watchdogs. And I got uh, four from the boat and three from the... Uh, uh, my own personal swaggerings I have, and then I would roll two dice and add seven, and I got a terrible roll there, but it is a 12. A 12 on R is dispatch a half to the opponents, but lose the swaggering. Oh, it's almost as if I I wanted to as a referee, but no, I, I, I did know. not want Doing to lose that. that on purpose, to hurt Dark's longboat. I did not do it on purpose. <laughs> I did it on... Uh, can we I use one on of our, our chits to prevent the loss? Yep. Thank you, Rusty. He's yes, the one who's remembering the rules. Good job, Rusty. Let's pull that off, put it back on there, and of course, I knew that before I even started. And I go on to uh, Rusty. There are two eels left, and then we go into the Q&D to fight the main guy. So how do you want to fight eels? Do you want to fight them with a, uh, a, a cup wizardry or a foul bane? I would not advise that. Or pick a uh, calculator recitation action, please. Um, if I do a recitation, there was one recitation I could do that would give us uh, potentially uh, some positives. Precognition E. Okay, so let's do precondition E. Um, and I have, uh, let's see, 20 magics. So plus four. So plus four. And uh, and that's it, right? That's the only that thing. is it. Two Hold dice on, plus on. four. Before, before Rusty rolls, Rusty, right? Uh, I'm looking through the table on this one. And um, if you do a 14, 15, or 16, we get a tactics pip, but you are aiming... For a 13. Here's 13. All <laughs> players really aim for a 13, Mike. Modifier. Enemy no longer gains defensive modifiers or becomes enraged. If you get a 9, uh, Rusty, that plus 4 would make it a 13. But yeah. uh, And Rusty's going to roll a, uh, a several different things here. Those 8s become 12s to gain the command pip. Nah, you're going to take that 14 better and you're going to give the us 15. The 15 uh, plus 4 is a 19, right? So everybody gets the tactics. Okay. All right. We, we were just hoping... Oh, no, I don't get three rolls. I only get two. Anyway. Yeah. Well, the last and, two... And uh, we'll ignore that last one since it was close enough. And Laura, <laughs> over to you. Uh, before we uh, get a minus one defensive modifier, what would you like to do? Uh, you have to attack as a magic wizardry cup card. That would be a foul bane, or you can do a recitation, recitation or calculated action. Swaggering techniques. Ah, give me the bane. I'm going to get one of she says flipper the card. Here comes the card. Emperor. Ooh. Gain a random blade swagger. And that's exactly what it is. Gain a random blade swagger. How about uh, five, which would be uh, E, uh, eminent. Do you have eminent? I do not, so. And here comes your actual attack, Laura. Yeah, lovers. What does lovers say? Your mount is coupled with another Winnie. Uh, the techniques are normal, not glorious. You gain one of his techniques, and he gains one of yours. I just randomly pick one of the people around the table. Mike, uh, Tony, Rusty, or myself, uh, Laura. Uh, this Red. Red, you have some, but you're the lowest level? Uh, I am the lowest level, yes. Um, uh, we'll go down the list, Laura. Uh, beautiful, do you have a beautiful on your mount? I do, yes. Uh, I so do I. Winged? I do not. Okay, you will pick up winged from me and continue the chart, and I will tell you when I pick up one for you. Go ahead. I have agile. 
agile. I am not agile, so my uh, my mount has made yours winged, and your winged, and your agile has made mine agile. So, thank you, Laura. And here comes your card, and it's an Eight of Cups Bane, and this is where so uh, spellcaster. What is what is this? Foul it's a bane. foul. Mike. So it's under monster tables. Bane foul eight. Oh boy. Guarding yourself may prove impossible. The last hit on your shield nearly tore off your arm. Block dual-handed to survive. Fail and suffer a vicious wound. If the character is skill grit fortitude, I am, or trait rugged, I am, the difficulty reduces by two for each. So that'd make it a difficulty nine mm -hmm. advantage blade, blade amalgam. Oh. But you have a tactics pit. I do have blade amalgam. Yeah, the roll is a 12 because of the tactics pit. So an 8. But she's skill, uh, grit, fortitude, and rugged, so... Correct. it's minus eight. 4. So eight, 8, rolling 3 times, Laura. Uh, that worked. <laughs> that happened first. And you did not take the wound, and we go to Mike. There are still uh, two eels left, and uh, you can take them with Wizardry Cup or Bane Foul. And the defensive modifier is now one. Can I use a make roll to declare a specific result on a uh, recitation magic? Which one? Well, you know I'd be going for that uh, recitation magic E13, which would um, gives everybody the fury pip and eliminates that defense modifier and prevents enraged. Hmm. How would you justify that with your character not using magic? <laughs> in other words no mike <laughs> we don't have to <laughs> yeah i know it is very tricky to justify well it's precognition all players gain fury modifier enemy no longer gains defensive modifier because <clears throat> because i'm telling everybody that this is the temple of triton we slew triton he is the he is the priest of a powerless and magicless god he has nothing that can affect us Okay, I tell you what I'll do, Mike. I'll let you. Uh, roll uh, three you normally times roll for three times, nine. right? <laughs> I'm sorry. You normally roll three times, right? Correct. I'll give it to you. We'll lose the defensive modifier. It is a preliminary battle, and so uh, we all gain the fury pip, right? Yep. Okay, and I go over to Tony. What would you like to do? There's two eels left. You can either attack them wizardly cups, or you can uh, use a. Uh, a swaggering. I will. Uh, I'll. I'll go after the eels uh, using a swaggering. I'm gonna kill him with the killer instinct. Okay. So Give I'm me your roll again, sir. Yep. Uh, fifteen. That probably does it, right? It's a D8. I think so. Uh, and a, yeah, a D8. Even better. Okay. Here we go. Two. Perfect. Just enough. Nothing is wasted. And it comes over to me, and I'm the first person who gets the Q and D on the uh, the defeat sub commander. And here comes my card, and I got myself a king, but unfortunately, it's a bane. Evade and assess, fail and lose swaggering. Regardless, if in this action the player face radical heretic Beringer, we don't. A random character suffers a wound. Swagger type B. Oh, let's see, a nine B. And um, B, 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 B. I got lots of Bs. Should I pick up Psionics? That doesn't really help me. Does the boat have B? It certainly does. I will go ahead and use... Uh, I will use Mucilage. So that... Uh, did I read that right? No, I did I did not read the Bane. Forgive me. Or did I read the... Yes, I did read the Bane. Any, any B and... Uh, uh, or I will suffer... Um, I lose swaggering. I want to lose swaggering. Three dice. Three dice for a total of eight. And, and I've made it. And Rusty, here comes your card on that uh, sub commander table. It's an ace. Good card. Uh, not a bane, correct? That is not correct. Not a bane. Sorry, Rusty. I was grabbing M and M's and not paying attention. To this. All right, just there. kill him already, please. He's not even the main boss. Success and sub commander becomes vulnerable. If already such, he is slain. The battle is over. Difficulty nine, advantage any swagger choice. 
Ah, let's see here. And so I have how many pluses? I got a tactics pip. You got tactics pip and fury. That's plus three. And th so a plus three. So I think um, I think we will go for um, wrestling holds, which I don't have. Looking for a six. Okay. Got it. Easily. And he is vulnerable now. And I go and to he's Laura. Vulnerable. Laura, here comes your card. And it is a five, but it is a bane. At least it's not uh, foul bane anymore. It's just the subcommander table. I'm going to go with foul bane. Uh, Trapped in curses, wards of malignancy. So much unknown fighting in his domain. Fail in all characters. <laughs> strategic benefit of ignoring first lift. If this event is killed twice by the party, a random character suffers issues. Regardless, if action players face Duke Lord Bacon, we don't. Uh, difficulty 12, advantage trait rugged. Well, I am rugged. And... Three dice looking for a nine. And uh, you do not, uh, we do not lose the trait rugged. I go on to uh, Mike. Mike, your card is a queen of rods. Ah, oh, Bane. Prevent his magical restoration. Fail and subcommander is no longer vulnerable. If he was not that now, a failed roll increases your warped outcome tally by half the eight. Regardless, uh, this is not Hemingway. No. Dead. Advantage, any swagger type D. Huh. Uh, I need a nine. I've got a fury pip. That's a seven. What did I? Tactics isn't doing anything on that one, right? A uh, tactics. Yeah, we got the tactics pip. So you need a six. So I need a six. D. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and try and pick up. Chiasmic actions. God, this would give me a chance to pick up that telekinesis I don't have. That's going to be really hard to justify later. <laughs> there we go. You don't care about magic. You don't care about magic. It's not real. Exactly. I go to Tony. Uh, Tony, I'm going to go with uh, you a card, and you're going to have the two of Bane. A two of Bane. All right, thank you. All right. <laughs> If he's got to intervene too, of course he uses magic, doesn't everyone? Fail and increase warped outcome by half a die eight. Resolve that outcome. Regardless, if in this action the players face prismatic frontman Scipio. We do don't. We? Okay. I ran a care of the vicious one. Okay. Difficulty nine, advantage trait clever. I am clever. So I am three dice of a nine. Plus a bunch of numbers. That's so. right. Oh, I have the Fury Pip. I've succeeded. Okay, so we did not have any uh, any warped outcome tally. It's over to me. This guy is vulnerable, correct? I thought somebody got an ace, right? Yeah, I, I, he's vulnerable. All right, five or rods. Five or rods. Uh, strength in numbers requires ferocity. Success in the sub commander is vulnerable in the future. He may be slain if already vulnerable. A uh, fail and shaken. Trade bold. I am bold. It's an eleven. Uh, becomes an eight on three dice. I am not shaken. I go over to Rusty. Here comes your card, Rusty. To single-handedly kill him. Unfortunately, it's a Bane. I love Banes. Two, two of Banes. Let's see. Uh, of course he uses magic. Doesn't everyone fail and increase warped outcome by half D8? Res resolve that outcome. Regardless if in this action the player face charismic from many Scipio, he we he not we don't. A random character suffers a vicious wound. Okay, difficulty nine, advantage trait clever. I am clever, and it's uh, six on three what? dice. Six on three dice. It's as if the the deck is taunting Mike for for having a doubt about magic. <laughs> and I go over to Laura. Laura, here comes your card. He is vulnerable, and we get the force card. The force card says that uh, all advantage change to personal swaggering from now on. They're no longer any, they're personal. And we got a nine, but it's a bane, Laura. 
I thought person. I thought majors. Oh, I'm were sorry. That goes to Mike. Yes, thank you. Yeah, the, the, the majors are, are are actual events for the people. I mean, person. I'd love to give Laura the bane rather than me, but uh, <laughs> misstep encounter off balance as all momentarily look on. Fail and all characters lose uh, lose trait bold strategic benefits of restoring shaken. If this event is failed twice by the party, a random character suffers a vicious wound. Regardless, if we face brutal cell sword Flanagan, we don't. Difficulty twelve. Swagger M. It's a regular tricks, which I do not have. So it's a twelve minus three for the fury and the tactics. So I need a nine on two dice. Roll three times to pick up irregular tricks. And not to queer our bold ability. And you did not. Nice. Over to Tony. Let's see if we can get a car to win this finally. How about a knight, Bane? Well, thank you. Yet another Bane. Perfect. All right. Keep from drawing or keep him from drawing or retrieving his favorite uh, favorite, favorite blade. Fail and subcommander is no longer vulnerable. Great. If he uh, was not that now, a failed roll results in shaking. Uh, but he is that. Okay. Regardless, if, this, if in this action they face Enforcer Hudson, which I don't believe we do, Nope. Random character suffers a vicious wound. Difficulty nine, any swaggering F, but it's now disarming blows. Disarming blows. Let's see. Do I have disarming blows? I do have disarming blows. So I'm three dice of a nine. Three dice plus, for six. Plus two plus one. Okay. Um, I think I've succeeded. I think you've succeeded easily. Let's see if I can finally kill this guy, Yorick. And seven of Bane. That's not going to do it. That's a lot of Banes in a row. We have to criticize Conrad for not shuffling. Explain the futility of Defiance. Fail, and all characters lose energetic Mm. for the Fury or Command Pip. If uh, failed twice by the party, a random character takes a vicious wound. We don't face the Zepsut. And it's a PP is Repartee. I do not have Repartee, but it is a roll of a nine on two dice. And I will make that roll because I do not want you guys to lose your uh, your energetic trait. I have two I have two make rolls left, and I will pick up uh, repartee as well from that. And I go on to Rusty. Let's see if we can get a card that isn't a bane. And a chariot. That's not going to win it. A chariot. All advantages change to mount swaggering around the horn. Laura. You got yourself an Empress. The Empress card is going to cancel the effects of uh, until deck reshuffles, ignore Major Tarot. Mike, how about a Knight for the win? Not even inverted. No. Nice. Exploit a perceived weakness. Success and subcommander becomes vulnerable. If already such, he is slain. The battle is over, but fail and suffer a vicious wound. Difficulty 10. Any swagger type E. I mean, Mount Swaggering Serene. Nah, didn't we get the... uh, No, we're now ignoring Major Taros, correct? Didn't we? Going forward, Mike. Going forward. You'd have to get the star card to cancel the ones that are already in effect. Well, darn. I don't have a Serene Mount, so I guess I'm looking for a 7 on 2 dice. Roll three times. You can roll... Well, a 7 on 2 dice to pick it up, or if you want to, you can substitute Precognition... Or the longboat has Vigilant, and we are bringing it along. So you could use three dice if you wish. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure I can I can uh, pick up a Serene Mount. It's only a seven. Go ahead. See? And you did. And Yorick, it's not, uh, it's not often that we eliminate the rivals so early in the adventure, which is nice. I think Yorick should have at least one captive, maybe two. Um, Laura, why don't you give me a half D8? Excellent roll. And that's going to get another four NPCs in our boat here. We'll name them and give them uh, positions in the temple later. And we move on to the next encounter. We're still trying to get where we need to get. That seven is going to be a personal event. I think I left off with Rusty. Or did I leave off with Laura? No, I left off with Rusty. Uh, Laura, pick any uh, blade swaggering that you want to roll a grand total of three on two dice to pick up. Glintner is going to uh, bless her, his uh, his commander. Do you have a golden blade, Laura? That would suit, uh, I think, uh, Commander of Glintner. 
I already have that uh, uh, lock with glories. Well, then that's probably why you're the boss. You I, couldn't I have had them all, help. though, right? What's that? You couldn't have you couldn't have them all, though, right? No, I was asking you about hellish. Hellish, terrific. Give me a roll of a three and better on two dice. That's all it takes. Easy peasy. I'm flipping cards still. The tower. Ugh. Ugh. You say, ugh. Ugh. And the tower is always a great great card. It's a tower bane. Well, it's the tower is actually a a, a card that's happening during encounters here. So I just got to go to my major tarot encounter table and uh, read off what uh, what it affects. I believe we uh, we regressed in phase. Um, tower. Um, we're, up, we're on a uh, Seas Rivers coast. Major right? tarot descriptions for the tower. The tower says that uh, until the deck reshuffles, ignore tens. Ugh. Wait Let's a minute. Is course. that are are we on? A, we're on a Seas Rivers coasts, correct? Uh, yes. Oh, that mu- I'm sorry. That must just be that Q and D table because I. Just yeah, that's that Q and D table. That's all the Q and D tables under there. But yeah, that's for emission and consequence. The tower here that we're getting is uh, just general encounters. Yes. And I flip another card, an eight. Let's go back a little bit here. It was a seven eight. I got an encounter number one in the rod sword, Mike. Rod sword animals. Rod sword is animals. Encounter number one is probably game or something, right? A good thing. Uh, probably, uh, all I've got, all I've got in the tool is whatever the, the Q and D tables are. So, uh, season coast rod, uh, cup rod. Uh, I got cup rod as discovery. You had it as cup animals. Rod, oh, no, I'm yeah, sorry. It's rod, rod sword. No. My mistake. Rod sword is animals. Yes. Rod sword, rod sword. I got rod sword as animals. Encounter number one is game. Yeah, it's game. We can pick up abundant stores, am, and uh, and reward the people of the area. I'll let uh, you know since uh, uh, Tony uh, would like to pick up a swaggering. I'm sure, right? I always want to pick up a swaggering. Uh, let's get a mount swaggering for you, Tony. On uh, two dice. Gosh, just like Laura, two dice, we roll a three, and we okay. also pick up abundant stores that we distribute to the people of the coastline there. All right, can I lock something as glorious? Or is you may, but you do risk, if you roll that two <laughs> deuces, it's, um, or uh, snake eyes, you're going to lose the one. Okay, well, that's I will take that chance. I think you could. Um, I'm going to try to lock my, uh, my mount as mystical. Okay. Because Terrific. it sure seems mystical. Yep. I have succeeded. Okay, and then we distribute to the poor. We are uh, we are definitely uh, filling our virtues up here pretty well. I believe one of our virtues is the fact that we're going to uh, trying to find them again. Trying to find them. It says I'm. Uh, I got them. Here it is. Lawmaker, mercantile, protect. Yes, lawmaker, and this is uh, protecting the innocent with the food here, I think works really well. And we go on. We're still in our encounters, though, and I flip a card, a knight. Now, it's a bane knight, so we're going to be attacked probably by servants of the, of the sea god. Um, I uh, I don't want to punish us too much, but we are rather high level. So how about if Yorick was not so dead as we thought he was, and we're each going to take one card on wizard cup bane foul until we either go a full loop around the table or somebody gets a dispatch result i'll start with me since that's uh since it's it's ugly i'll uh i'll use myself as a victim can and this, I gotta can this count as a battle for me i can uh, rusty i'm gonna have to apply a pretty huge uh defensive modifier for it oh okay never mind. it's up to you no. i can i can survive it <laughs> no, I won't do that to the group. Well, it's going to have to happen sometime, right? Well, I'm sure that we will get one eventually. Hmm. Yeah, it probably be better. I'm supposed to, get to be one. selfless, so as one of my growths from level five. Yeah, but that's selfless as a character, not in terms of game mechanics. Oh. Uh, you know, I'm going to go ahead and do it for you, Rusty. It's a minus five defensive modifier. If you want to waste uh, a methodical on that, I certainly won't. <coughs> I'm just going to risk it. Let's go to the hangman here. Uh, in I know I'm rugged uh, if uh, and need to. Uh, 95 on uh, personal combat. Uh, it's in the uh, chat. It's in the chat. And it says, 
Uh, merge with the Mysterious until the deck reshuffle. The player generates warped outcome events any time his modified dice rolls exceed 16. Now, that no, applies no, no. to everyone. So. I apologize. That is, uh, I, I reposted in there the uh, inverted, but it's not inverted, isn't it? No, it's uh, Hangman is not inverted here. So it says, a, a duel is now a fair personal honor. Until the deck reshuffles, selecting player may not attempt escapes. Uh, no, I will not attempt escape. Ugly. Okay, so let's go to my actual card. Pope, a Hierophant card, Mike. Inverted. Everybody loses a make roll. I'll uh, post that in. And it's inverted. Everyone's going to lose a make roll. That puts me down to only one make roll. And I flip a card and get a two of cups. It's not a bane. So I let's find out what wizardry cup two is, Mike, if you would. Uh, magical cup two. Magical cup two. And magical cup two. I still have a chance to win. A gesture oft used, often to entertain, suddenly produces a more meaningful magical result. Too bad you don't quite recall what you just did as you delight in the consequences. Success and this battle is won. I do not have the skill pressed to digitation. I will double check that. Doesn't seem like something I would pick up. It is a gifted skill? No. Prestidigitation, I'm looking, is a, a clever skill, and I do not have it. So it's a roll of a nine. I do not have any tactics pip or quest pip or fury pip. It's just two dice for a nine to win this battle. Um, but, Rusty, I'm going to let you take over for me because you won't get your battle if you're not actually in this battle. So two dice for a nine, Rusty. Step in front and take the and take the uh, the kill shot for uh, for me, and you made it. I did. Check your battle. Thanks. Thanks for stepping aside. That's a Thanks. level seven battle, so that guy was at least heinous. I will not mark that for my battle. I will not mark that. Well, actually, I can mark that for my battle because it's uh, it doesn't have to escalate in battle. It just has to be better than the uh, other one. And, and you the, did take cards. I mean, you did take. And basically. the heroics is the one. And we go on to, um, I can go around the table and give us each one if anyone needs to check uh, that the eights, you got uh, th three eights around the table besides us? No, nah, yep. you guys don't need to, to take a card. You're already at the highest level you're going to get in the game. I move on to uh, still trying to get us home. High Priestess. We're ignoring tens. What else are we ignoring? I'm looking it up now as we speak. Major Tarot Descriptions, High Priestess. Restore all traits, strategic benefits. The players do not gain extra Lombo techniques for being methodical, but they gain perhaps extra wound uh, and avoidance with Rugged, or the option to have the Energetic turn into the Fury Pib. That was nice. And our actual card is our Knave. And we got more of those slug creatures coming our way. Does anyone need a... Uh, does anyone need slug creatures coming our way with any defensive modifier? No, right? Because Rusty, you uh, you no, I got my battle, right? I got my battle. And okay. I've already got uh, heroic. Um, we are going to repeat this again, and unfortunately, we're going to escalate it one by. We won't have a defensive modifier, which is fine. But we're each going to have to take wizard cup or bane foul until we individually get out of the tables. The Bane Fowls have the potential of becoming enchanted and then horrible if uh, other players uh, make the right rolls on those. But otherwise, it's Wizard Cups to win, Bane Fowls to lose. I'll start with Laura. Here comes your card, Laura. And it is an Ace of Cups. Should be easy to do. You get a better card. Uh, success. Oh, Fireball. Success and dispatch a half D8 opponent. Or one large plus adversary. Or Regardless, get out of the table. That's the way I'm interpreting that. Round, the player must change to a different attack method. Maybe you... Won't matter. ...like to repeat the act with recitation. Difficulty 7, advantage. Wisdom 3, pyrotechnics. Okay. A 7 to get out of the table. No modifier on it? Uh, nope. Not only wish you wish to add one with energetic and add the fury pip. No, I, I 
I'm going to uh, roll two dice to see if I can lock that as Glorious. Okay. Um, you're going to roll three times. Go ahead. And you got it on the second roll. Laura's out of the table. Mike, here comes your card. The devil. That has something to do with horses, right? Gain a random mount swaggering. Mike, how about if we give you five? It's going to be E. It's going to be what? Uh, Serene. Which I just got, and now Locke is glorious. That is correct. And here comes your card, Mike. An eight, Bane. Foul Bane, Mike. Foul Bane eight. Guarding yourself may prove impossible. That last hit on your shield nearly tore off your arm. Getting all of your cards tonight, Laura. Block dual-handed to survive. Fail and suffer a vicious wound. If the character is skill, grit, fortitude, which I am, and rugged, which I am, difficulty reduces by two for each. So 13 minus four is a nine. Um, is my blade an amalgam? It is not, so I'm gonna try and I'll even I'll even you know risk it. Going the wound. There we go. You want to make roll that? Nope. I'll just roll. It. It's a 13, Mike. I'm not seeing why a 12 would win. Because I am uh because I am skill grit fortitude and trait run. Oh, because it had dropped in uh, value for those two. Yes. Okay. Super. And uh, but you are still on the table. I go to Tony. Here comes your card. Okay. And it's judgment. Judgment. Judgment inverted. Mike, if you wish to post em it. Empowered. Um, Each player may decide or repeat. Should I do that on the magical or for the um, the Bane? They might both be the same. Uh, the Bane doesn't have a, uh, a separate... Uh... But go ahead, uh, Tony, you were reading. Um, yes. Inverted empowered. Each player may decide or refuse to change method even when forced by his... Uh, less than successful actions. He may resist escape, irregular, even brash or magical, and remain firmly planted in his preferred method. However, each time he was told to change, and doesn't he continue shaking? Uh, that's not going to really affect us that much, but we'll take a look at it and we'll say if you actually have a bane result of like escape, you're going to stay in the battle shaken. Here comes yeah. your actual action. How about justice bane? I, Rains of pours. Conrad just not shuffling these cards very well. <laughs> um, none of the players may use the combat trade bonuses for any of their characters. Oh. This condition lasts until the deck reshuffles into the battle ends. I don't want to shuffle right here. Okay, so yeah, rugged doesn't bad. apply either. A 10 for you, uh, Tony. Ten. 10 cups for the win. Okay. Wait, is it for 10 foul, right? Uh, it's No, it's a, a 10... Uh, uh, as in magic cups, experiment with witchery. Okay, gotcha. All right. Experiment with witchery and devilish charms. Curses read in moldy tomes or overheard in hushed tones. Success in dispatch a half a day eight opponents or one large plus adversary, but fail and select the regular next round. Regardless, the enemy is now enraged at Oof. the event of etc. Difficulty 11, advantage trait gifted. I am gifted. We're going to have to add at least a minus one defensive modifier for the Enrage. Yeah, you're going to roll three dice, uh, Tony, for that 11. If you uh, fail the roll, we're going to say that you're shaken. Tony is uh, n is out of the battle with that dispatch. Uh, Laura's out of the battle. Tony's out of the battle. Mike is uh, still in the battle. And me. And I flip the card and get the fool. There's a fool tell me, Mike, under personal combat. In uh, Delight and Sport, everybody takes a round of Irregular. Yeah, now we're going to ignore that. But once again, what we'll do is we'll say that uh, we'll reemphasize the fact that if you uh, if you're ever forced to change, we're going to go ahead and make a shake. And I'm going to go four, uh, four for the win for me, isn't it? Uh, summon a terrible win, which freezes right to the bone. Success for the win, but fail and suffer vicious wound from my own wind. Regardless, all players lose command and tactics bonuses. We don't have that. Wizardly power, uh, paralysis Q. It's a seven. Just a seven on two dice. I've made it, and I picked up Wizardry Paralysis. I don't have very many of them. And unlike Tony, I will take my Wizardly Paralysis. Although it'd be nice to have a sturdy mount. Uh, I am out of the battle. Uh, Rusty, here you go to see if you can get out of this battle. A star. Bane. Uh, well, it, yeah, star Bane, Mike. Uh, 
let's see here. Sorry, I, I guess question. that one, since that um, builds off the uh, regular, I'll just... After the battle, the players discover a clue to their adventure. This may occur even if they are, were forced or decided to run away and escape. At the very least, the ref shall give all players a quest pip for the remainder of the adventure. This bonus would start once, and that's all I see. Yeah, what what it is is it looks like because it's inverted, it's we would inverted, lose a quest so. pip. But yeah. we're not going to apply a negative quest pip, and we don't have a quest nick, period. But I will give you a clue about something else to do with the uh, the, the wand of Haket after the battle. Uh, in But here comes your card, Rusty. How about okay. a six? And that could be for the win. Operate your weapon and shield remotely or turn the enemy's own arms against him. Success and dispatch a half D8 opponents or one large adversary, but fail roll, suffer a vicious wound. All right. Difficulty eight, advantage, wizardly telekinesis. Let's Boy, see. yeah, Mike, this, this deck is just teasing you. Don't you need telekinesis, you were saying? Yep. Wow. Okay. So, so there's no modifiers, I take it? No modifiers, no. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to do a uh, make roll to lock my telekinesis as glorious. And get out of the battle. And get out of the battle. All right, go ahead and take that, and we're going to go over to Mike. Here comes your card. It's an eight. Hey, finally an eight. It's an eight foul. Aim. Ah, the deck is teasing me because I'm the only one who's gotten a uh, bane in this battle, and that was twice in a row. And yes. it's another eight. It's the same one I just had. Yes, that, by the way, is the last eight in this deck until it reshuffles. Because Laura also had one, and then we had another eight earlier. Uh, so, I'm just looking for that nine. You're looking but for that I, nine to guard yourself again. But my blade is now amalgam. So and you're on three dice. Whoops. Sorry, I gotta change that uh, color code on it. I marked it as glorious, and it's not. Um, hell with it. I'll try and lock it as glorious. I only need a nine. A nine, you're rolling three times, and you got it. But you're still in the battle. Here comes yep. your card. A ten, a ten to get out of the battle, Mike. Well, you know, it's a good thing that I get this ten now because we're not getting into encounters anytime soon. <laughs> <clears throat> Gasp, awed, as you hold out what's left of your once magnificent blade. The um, that's uh, that's the foul, that's Mike. Foul. You want to give yourself a magical ten. It's a lot easier. Yeah, magical cup ten. That is a lot easier. Experiment with witchery and devilish charms. What is witchery and devilish charms? The gods are dead. There is no magic. Curses read in moldy tomes are overheard in hushed tones. Success and dispatch a half D8 opponents or one large plus opponent, but fail roll and select a regular next round. Regardless, enemy is now enraged. Um, difficulty 11, trait gifted. I am gifted. Three dice, looking for... It's a 12 with a defensive modifier, but that gets you out of the battle. Okay. But as Mike points out, we are ignoring tens. We're trying to get down the coast to fight the lizard men. And I rolled a four. Ten four is a personal event. I believe Laura got the last one, so I want to give uh, Mike a chance to pick up something for free. Mike, you wanted that wizardry telekinesis, right? Yeah, but that's, you know. Uh, I mean, are you, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you, is that the last of your wizardry that you need? Is that what you mentioned, or is it just one of a couple? Uh, I would need telekinesis and thought control. Um, let's go for telekinesis. On a roll of a three on two dice, you're, uh, you're sitting there watching others, uh, move, uh, objects with their brains, and you're trying to figure out how, uh, how science actually applies to make that happen. They must have really big magnets or something. Strong like wind. Strong wind. It's, yeah, strong it's wind. Strong wind or magnets. It's just that the boat's rocking back and forth, and as the table shifts. It's all relative. Yeah, you you could sort of sway with it, but in the process, you'll actually actually pick up telekinesis. Anything but a two, Mike. I uh, rolled a four. And there you go. Close. You almost convince yourself that you can't do telekinesis, but. And uh, let's go on to a flipping card still. Nave. Oh, double nave. At least we're through the encounters. Maybe. But we got one more, uh, one more action. Let's go ahead and uh, and start it off with uh, with something a little bit more um, interesting. And let me look at my tables here really quick. And I think I'm going to have you guys do something in encounters. Let me uh, let me pick it. And uh, I won't be crossing the underworlds. 
Uh, Mystical scrutiny and retaliation on page 111 of the uh, of the uh, um, uh, encounters book. So this is uh, this are things like you're going to basically try to undo the magic of the sea gods that has been lingering and causing us all these banes. We're going to look for encounters that cause success and this encounter ends. And this is another one that probably we should be, since there's no banes in it. And uh, I believe all we really do is mess ourselves up with it. There's a lot of minus to the quest pips. Any minus that we get to the quest pip, we're actually going to count this time. And we'll go ahead and uh, and we'll flip cards until we solve this. I left off with Mike. I go to Tony. Tony, here comes your card. It's a 10. A 10 is good. Okay. And I will post it in the chat if Mike doesn't have it. Do you have a mystical uh, mic or do I need to post it? What are we at? Seas Rivers? Seas Rivers? Coast? Yeah, mystical scrutiny and retaliation under uh, the... Uh, what, what suit are we on again? Sorry. It it's uh, it would be... I'm, I'm, I'm scrolling up. It's Coin Coin Phenomenon. Coin Coin Phenomenon. Do, 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 do. Phenomena. Do, 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 do. Phenomena. Okay. Attract fire. Make all, all take notice and inspire confidence in your minions. Fail and lose any longbow technique. If the party has none, remaining player suffers a vicious difficulty. Seven. Advantage blade nightly. Um, do I have nightly blade? I do have a nightly blade. Them three Def- dice. Defy the winds and the storms they're bringing against us. I have succeeded. You have succeeded, so we do not lose a longbow technique. It comes over to me with the same table, and I got the Wheel of Fortune. And now we shuffle again, and here it comes, an ace. Hey! An, an ace. Plunk. Sound, uh, sound the water at precise points to sense what lurks or stirs below. Success in the encounter ends, but fail and fight a sea creature of ferocity equal to the highest level. Pl- <laughs> to a great sea creature gets summoned. Ah, okay. So it's a seven wizardry telekinesis. Let me see if I have that. I do not. I will you, lose. I, I will just, lose. I, I will lose. I will use my last make roll. Pick that up, and we will not fight the uh, the sea monster. <laughs> and uh, success in encounter ends. The battle oh, is come ended. on, Red. Only are, seven. You could roll a seven. Uh, a seven on two dice. I could, but if I miss that, we're going to fight a great a great creature like a dragon. Well, I'll think and of the... I get to check a battling noble at level eight. As Dennis would always tell me, think of the experience. <laughs> I use my make roll. Oh. And, uh, and uh, I, I will not think of the experience. I will check prudence instead. And... Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, and move into the climax here. The climax is going to be a series of battles against the uh, the grain eating uh, saurians. Let me look that up on my table here to make sure that we have uh, grain eating saurians. The uh, grain eating saurians they're the least dangerous. The saurians have are adapting to uh, uh, farming legumes here. Um, they employ slave labor to do so, uh, unfortunately, ah, though. But go, at least slave. they do not eat humans themselves, except for a few tr- uh, troublemakers used as seasoning. They are large with the defensive modifier of zero. Um, we are going to, let's see, use retreat under ship uh, engagements after land action. So we're going to fight a battle against these uh, creatures, and then we're going to retreat away. Let's go to skirmish. Skirmish, huh? Yep. On the battle with skirmish. Ready. And full on skirmish ramming speed. No, Sunder Wall. Skirmish. Q and D skirmish. I left off with me. We go to Rusty on the skirmish tables. And here comes your card, Rusty. There are no banes on this table. Lovers. There are major tarot on this table, though. There is an my, uh, one even. Land battles, uh, Conflict uh, we, don't arms have, we don't have treasure laden at the moment, so it's we don't care about that card. Very nice. And here comes your card, Rusty. It's three under uh, Skirmish. Hit from behind, but your helm wasn't a wannabe knockoff from a street vendor. Fail and knocked unconscious. Difficulty, nine. Advantage, blade, fantastic, D. 
I do not have Blade Fantastic D. I'm going to go ahead and try and get it. And I got it. Okay, and you are not knocked unconscious. I go to Laura. Here comes your card for Skirmish. How about an eight? Yep. Rear back on your charger and command the horse to leap and kick, splitting the enemy formation. Success if all players take actions on full on charge. Difficulty eight, advantage, mount agile. Mount Agile and a roll of an eight to move us forward. If you do not have Mount Agile, you can substitute the wizardry or the boat for that. No, we she's, are trying to lock, she's trying to lock it. <laughs> Two dice. <laughs> and you've locked your Mount Agile, and now we're in full-on charge. I go to Mike in full-on charge. How about a three, Mike? Struck with confusion as the plan falters or begins disjointed, else magical... Else... Mental bewilderment hampers an opportunity. Fail and selecting players suffer shaken penalty. Difficulty 7, advantage, mount pure. My mount is not pure, but I roll three times, so my mount is now pure. Your mount is pure, and you do not suffer shaken penalty over Tony. Tony, you got yourself the world card. The world. Inverted. Oh. Inverted. If the group's vessel is longboat disease free, a failed result for the next event means the technique is, the technique is also lost. This loss may occur even if the technique is not part of the vanguard subset. All right, we're still charging, and here comes your actual card, Hangman. Oh, see, I'm going <laughs> to complain about the uh, ability to uh, the shuffle. The shuffle. Yeah. If the group's vessel is longboat undamaged. No, oh, it's not inverted. Uh, oh. Actually, it is an it inverted is. hangman. It's on clearly it says. Oh, yeah, it is. He's standing straight up and looking at us. So we now risking uh, two uh, longboat swaggering oof. from this roll. I don't think that's going to happen, hey. but let's see. Ace. Certainly not with an ace. Full on charge ace. Uh, Tony. Full on charge ace. Run over the ranks and take a dumbfounded enemy leader as your prisoner. Success and route the enemy. This battle's over in one. Regardless, all players must return to battle despite vicious knockout, mishap, or previous escape. Difficulty 7, advantage, swagger, disarming blow, F. Do I have F, disarming blow? I do have F, disarming blow. So I'm three dice of a seven. And what do you know? I've succeeded. Okay. Let's look at the campaign those. map for, ju for just a second here. Make sure, I should say, the uh, Caucasus region map. Now, we have essentially routed the grain-eating uh, uh, Saurians, and they're going to take refuge with their brothers, the filth-eating ones. We've captured this little area of the map, which is pretty nice. But uh, does anyone have any favors owed or any enemies of the Saurians on their character sheet? I do not. I do not roll a character background. I want to make sure that we cross some of those out if, off if they actually are there. I have the trust of a Saurian chief. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna lose that. Uh, you're gonna lose oh. that unless you let, unless you uh, pardon him, and then we retreat. Uh, Tony, does it matter to you whether you have the trust of him? I will lose it. I will lose the trust of the Saurian chief. Okay. And two. You have it as well, Mike. No, 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 no. Laura said she could speak their tongue, and I said I probably do as well. And that's just going back that, like, long ago, I already speak every campaign language that you've mentioned in the game, plus two more. I just have two undefined languages hanging out. <laughs> uh, the grain-eating Saurians have been defeated. Yay! Our people at home are happier for it. We any, have, uh, uh, any prisoners, third party? Yes, I, I, I was about to say, we'll let Tony, since he gave up his uh, his favor, roll me a half D8, Tony. Only a half D8, okay. Yep. How about four? Four is terrific. There are three more NPCs that we need to find. I'm over to you, Rusty. Uh, we have attacked the grain-eating uh, Saurians. We could head down to Sinope and try to pick up some of the undesirable, uh, undesirables there. You can head into Tiflis and see if they have any undesirables. You can head to the High Ruins. What would you like to do, uh, sir? Uh, let's see. We have a total of 45 minutes or so. Let's, yeah, go, to have... let's go to Sinope. 
Okay. Rather than trying to take on the high ruins. Yeah, we would not get through the high ruins in any no. way, shape, or so, uh, form uh, tonight. We'd have to. We would probably just postpone it. We go down to Sinope. Uh, it's going to be encounters as we're moving over there. So let's go ahead and flip a card, and we get the death card. Death card on encounters. That's so bad. No, that's good. It? Tony and loses an ear. Let's see what the death. Let's see oh. what the death I card says. I couldn't quite says. hear what you said there, Russ. I said Tony loses an ear. Huh? No, Tony does not lose an ear because this not is not uh, this is not field engagement. Until the deck reshuffles, all mission and consequence encounters will tend to have unfavorable, increasing the rank by one. Uh oh, Empress, Empress. Until the deck reshuffles, players may ignore the effects of major tarot going forward. And uh, still flipping cards. We need ten. Magician. Oh, they're all coming out. Boy, this is a terrible shuffle. Uh, ignore queens. Shuffled, so we can take tens. Moon. That's four in a row. Uh, the moon is... Oh, we ignore that, right? Yeah, I'm sorry. We ignore the moon. We ignore the uh, 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 the queen and the nine. A nine, if I go back far enough, I'm going to find what the nine... Oh, that nine, because this is all phase C. That nine is in phase. That is a realization that gold is at hand. Let's get to Sinope. In Sinope, this is the first time we've been here, correct? Yes. Sinope is actually part of a different kingdom, so we don't need to worry about its favor, but it's nice to keep it from uh, interfering with us. Lord Roman. Lord Roman says that he has he has need for a master mason. If we can go find a master mason for him, we have uh, solved the problem there. Uh, we could take one of the eight people that we have unnamed and, and uh, declare them as a master mason and give them over, if you wish. And there are three people that he uh, he would like to leave uh, get rid of from our from his city. He actually wants to lose his son, which is funny. So we're going to do that. So, do we want to take his son away for him, and do we want to give him a mason out of our group? It would be a uh, net wash, Rush, Rusty. Well, wait uh, a minute. Didn't he have three people he wanted to get rid of? He does, but we're we're going to worry about the uh, heir apparent first, Mike. Yes, uh, I think we definitely want to. Give up the mason for the sun. Okay, so we're going to cross off one, but we're going to pick up the sun, and the sun is uh, Azra, and he is an heir of Sinope, which means if we uh, later on decide to uh, do something against Lord Roman, uh, we actually then would have in our temple... Um, a puppet. A puppet of Sinope. <laughs> Now the other thing Not that's going on, and Sinope wants to get rid of him. The other thing that's going on here is the fact that they're uh, they they want us to go into the town and, uh, and and there's a garrison there that's been rather rebellious. We can fight a siege action to try to uh, uh, take over their blockhouse and force them to uh, capitulate. And that sounds like a good thing to kill another twenty minutes, 20, uh, ten to fifteen minutes. So let's uh, let's go and, over to fundamentals to earn our three MPCs. Okay, got uh, it. Three NPCs. Well, I mean, I'll give you one more, and then there'll be one other that we can get out of. But let's take away. Uh, uh, we still have three NPCs we got to get. That's right. Let's okay. um, let's go to that table first, and let me let me find it. Uh, sieges. We don't want to. We don't want a long siege, so we probably want to just storm the place. And it is storm the walls and towers on two fifty five. And Rusty went, so Laura's going to go first. Laura, I'm going to give you a card on storming actions. We probably should have a defensive modifier for this. The rolls are, uh, the rolls are good. The rolls, some of the rolls are downright ugly. But I'm going to give a defensive modifier of three to this. <coughs> Here comes your card, Laura. You might want to nullify the roll, Laura, because it's the end of the night. Uh, no, if you wish, uh, the knave, uh, Mike, under uh, storming actions. Yep. yep. Your forces hesitate. Another knave, Marina. Your forces hesitate as you reach the top, watching you fight to see how much spunk is left in the enemy. Fail and all players return to the siege. If any character in the party has was agreed to the god A, bunch of us do. We'll by three. Um, I don't <coughs> have it. I even have it. Um, Plus three, minus three. It's a nine. Are you a duelist? Okay, 
That was simple. Laura makes it. Laura makes it, but we're still in the battle because we have not won the battle yet. I go to Mike. Here comes your card. It's a seven, Mike. Under storming. Seven under storming. Sevens are always good. It's always sewers. Contort and force your way through a sewer or drainage pipe. From then on, it's to capture a secondary gate. Success, and the battle has been won. The remaining enemy forces are broken and surrender, but fail and add a half to eight steps towards oblivion on your tally of warped outcomes. If any character in the party has a wizardry shape-shifting, which Rusty does. Yes. I'm sure I do, too. Difficulty decreases by three. Difficulty ten. Advantage skill. Acrobat. I am an acrobat. Wow. Nice. Three dice for a ten, Mike. Yeah, roll three times, but this would be the battle is over. Uh, success in the battle is one. Absolutely. I'm reading it as it reads. You want to make roll this? How many make rolls you got? Two. Two more? Or that, two total? Two total right now. But then don't, why would you make okay. roll it then? You could, well, you because could make... I mean, uh, after this week, Rusty, we're gone for a couple months. And by the time I play, by the time I play this level eight guy again, if I play him again, he'll have all his make rolls back. Um, oh, okay. Well. I don't think it's a bad idea to make roll it either, Rusty. It is a roll of a 10. He does roll three times, though, so the odds are with him, but in case he misses it. He's rolling yeah. for three dice for a 10, right? Yeah, I'll just bring the make roll. The heck with it. Three dice for a 10, you're right. Three dice for 10 for is 10, a little bit easier, but... Little bit, quite a bit more easy with three rolls, but anyway, that's okay. Okay, so you're the right. battle has been won. Mike, uh, give me a half D8. Four. Four. We've picked up all of the people we need for our temple and uh, we're going to move on the table and this is where it gets a little bit more interesting um, I'm going to go to my uh, fantasy faith table, I probably should just put this right in the in the game, in fact why don't I do that so that I don't have to uh, I don't have to do too much more and if I create a new tabletop and share it you guys seen that come through to you? Not uh, yet. Not yet. Yeah. Oh, now he's it's starting to be, starting to come out. It's starting start, to try uh, wooden, something. Wooden planks. The background is loaded. Waiting for the content. Trying to load a background now. We got the background. And it's it, well, it's a, wood, it's a wood table at the moment, right? Right. Yes. Well, it's, it's four wooden planks. I I guess it's a table. It's a picnic table. Rusty, if you were to scroll down, you would have seen even more planks. Oh, I take that back. Yeah, the establishing a religion chart, and you said we were going to jump right to E, correct? Or are we at E? And uh, this is our basically our uh, our hierarchy that we're fighting at the time. These are established uh, major deities: the persona of the mother, the All Father. I can give them uh, names uh, later on if we if we want. Uh, they're probably all Norse tradition. And uh, we were at uh, lieutenants, e. which we got our we lieutenants. We were at E, and we have a choice: we can go to H or I. Now, I say that we probably go to H if Laura wants to have a larger uh, say in the organization. Uh, but, um, uh, Mike, I'll give you the choice of either going to H or I at your, uh, at your leisure. Ooh. Where do you want to push us from E is, what I guess, where I'm asking. You know what? We can get back to H for Warrior Elite from I, but we can't get to I from H. So let's debate the uh, apostate, and then Laura still has the option of pushing for Warrior Elite later. Okay, unless we get pushed to franchising out the religion after that. Uh, debate, I. Okay, let's see how bad the debate, I, uh, turns out to be. We're going to debate an apostate. There's somebody in our faith, one of the, uh, you know, 13 members of the NPCs that we brought in, and he is questioning our rituals. He doesn't like the craftsman element. He says that the Glintner is more of a, a metal, you know, a demigod, and it should be more, you know, a, a, a god of pain. He may be advocating for the temple to join another established chain of temples. He may be just an upstart and wants more control. Ah, it could be probably that guy. Uh, what are we? Azra, right? The head of Sinope? 
He's a yep. good one to sort of push into this. And uh, it says, let's see, he will know rumors and secrets about the religion if the players have acted against the faith. We haven't so far, so this is a good time to get this encounter. And uh, do we kill him? No, we don't kill him. No, thought control. Well, it isn't that easy. He's not. He may be advocating, but that doesn't mean that he's uh, he's alone. Uh, we're not going to role play any debate. Uh, basically, what we're got to do. I'm I'm reading down, and uh, the players will be working toward the war elite of the franchise. We are going to make task resolution rolls in Outlands. All of us need to make them. And we're going to start at nearly impossible. Each time we fail, it'll go to tasking difficult and ordinary in each mission going forward. All of us need to make them. So nearly impossible rolls. Rusty, yours is a 14. Mine is a 16. I'm probably going to be a long pole. And the rest of you are 12s. So let's start by everyone trying to make a nearly impossible roll to put this to rest. I roll my dice. I did not get a 16. And... Uh, uh, did you make that roll, uh, Tony? Is that what you're signifying? Yes, there? indeed okay. I did. That was a waste of a make roll, Tony. Should have seen what Red did first. Well, yeah. it's uh, it, it, if you guys make them, you don't make them anymore. Uh, Laura, Laura has made her roll of nearly impossible with a 12. And so Tony and Laura are already... I want to put the apostate victory. But I want to take the apostate side. <laughs> you may. <laughs> And uh, Tony and Laura are the two victories so far. Uh, uh, Rusty, you missed, correct? Yes, I got a six. That's a 14, and I missed. And Mike, you missed, right? Correct. Okay, so as we complete other missions, we're going to try to roll these again, Mm -hmm. and they're going to be at tasking next. But uh, Laura and Tony, because you have major roles, uh, you are now looked to as as sort of the, uh, the keepers of the faith here in a large degree. So whether Tony, whether you wanted it or not, they they look for you as a as a leading member of the laity, the one who uh, is not a high priest. They think the high priests are probably more corrupt, and that it takes you know a person who's who's not empowered to make actual decisions on the bureaucracy of the church to decide where the religion should be heading. And Laura, of course, you want to move it toward a uh, more of a a a warrior faith, right? That's perfect for me because I, I definitely want to be the life of Brian, uh, yeah, the life of Brian type character. <laughs> <laughs> you well, know, if the, if, if the you're, you that... may be the prophet who doesn't want to be a prophet, you're saying, huh? <laughs> yep. Well, that's sad. <laughs> I mean, if the people think the high priests are corrupt, well, you know, Rusty and I, we kind of are, you know, the stuff we've done, which is not evil. It's different. I, I find that a fireball cures many a disbelief <laughs> it, it used to but then that we table disappeared it should be coming back to you in just a second here yep all right and i'm gonna put a big uh, a big peg there so that we know where we're at how about uh how about this coin it's a big russian coin since uh tony wants us to be a communist there <laughs> Okay, the big Russian coin is moving down for Glitnir, and we go back to the caucus map, and it is, uh, we got about half an hour left, and we're going to use it, and uh, we have a satisfied Sinope, we're going to head toward Tiflis, we know Tiflis wants us to uh, cure disease, we can't do that, we could try, uh, we could try heading to Barda, we could try heading to, uh, to well, Tumut, Tumut Arakan wants us to uh, solve uh, plague, we don't know how to do that. We can go check out what's going on with the Biblo sites of the Shaka, or we can head on inland over to Etil. We don't need to worry about the Lost Citadel. I'm over to, uh, last decision was made by Rusty. Rusty. It's up to Laura. Laura, where would you like to head with the longboat? Hmm. There is no wrong answers here. We, how would we get the longboat to Etil? We'd have to drag it overland? Uh, and one of those rivers goes through. We would either take the long, 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 long route on the campaign map, which would go way up past, you know, Bella Zero, or, yes, we would drag it across the uh, the map. Okay. 
Wouldn't one of these guys just open up a portal through the underworld? We'd sail it through there and come out. Yeah, towards we, the we, we could also do that. Awesome. We, we, we could move awesome. up the river from Rostov, and when we get to the, the the end of the line at the Biblos site, we can connect it to the other side on Till, if you wish. Is that what you want to do, Laura? We're, yeah, that was, that was the plan to go there next, right? Okay, we're going to a Till. Flip it encounters. A yeah, five. Been... A five in the last encounter was a seven. I got a cup cup. Number two, Mike, under uh, rivers. Cup, cup number two under rivers. Cup Looking it up. Two. Rivers, cup, cup. Seafarers of some sort, right? We have run into uh, castaways. Oh, this Dang. could be pretty good. Do we want to save the people who are uh, who uh, we got? We got a group of, of a group of people who are going to try to move over land past the biblosites. And they know as pilgrims that they're probably going to get eaten, a number of them, by the lion men. Do we want to take them aboard our, our vessel and help uh, to help them get to a till? Uh, the decision is Mike, since the die was on Laura. Mike, do we take castaways aboard? We take, uh, do we take a, uh, a group of people that tried to make it across the Biblicite land but failed? Of with course us. we do, because that's, you know, protecting the innocent. And plus, while they're on our boat, there's their pilgrims. We can try and convert them into the true faith of Glitner. We got that. Yes, very good. As a plus one quest pip, of course. Uh, we pick up from that, and then we see if it turns bad from us. Let's move on to the next encounter. A five. This would be an encounter number two in the Cup Cup, which means we found even more castaways. Or we had trouble with the castaways we had. Let me look at the table underneath this as a Q and D table. Ploys of speed and potency. Now oh, that sounds like a perfect one that we should give a card to uh, Tony on. Success in the counter end is what we're looking for. That's usually aces and kings. Uh, uh, Tony, your card is a four. A four on their uh, cup cup uh, ploys, uh, Mike. If you want to post it for him. Four under cup cup ploys. All right. Attract a favorable wind. Beckon a jinn or a godling to answer your call. Fail and drafted. We also drained of one wizardly one wizardly technique. Oh, big deal. If the player has no magic, neither uh, uh, suffers a vicious. If the rank of the event is common, two. No, it's not a catch. It is. Yeah, it was encounter number oh, two, two, wasn't it? Okay. Uh, it was, yeah, it was a, a number two. Okay. Upon success. Also gain longbow camaraderie peace, saving a few lives of skilled mariners. Uh, Difficulty eight. Camaraderie would be nice to pick up as uh, off the boat, so you could pick that up on a successful roll. And uh, you are going advantage to... blade imminent. Um, do I have blade imminent? I need... <laughs> do not have blade imminent. Then on you an can pick eight, it up. you pick it up. An eight. If you fail, you take a vicious wound. Oh, no, I'm sorry. If you fail, you lost a wizardry. Okay. I'm kind of hoping I fail a little bit. <laughs> right. I have succeeded. Okay. And uh, Blade Eminent, did you have that, or you just picked it up, right? I just picked it up. And I the encounter has not ended. Points. I go over to me, and I get a, a king. A king could end it. Uh, send a few barrages of flaming arrows well placed across the bow of the uh, of the lion guys to keep them away. Success in the encounter ends. I am not an artillerist, but it is only a six. A six to end this encounter. I am rolling dice. <laughs> <laughs> That's a warped outcome, isn't it? Uh, no, it's uh, if it, if I was rolling. Uh, if I was rolling for like a task resolution, yes, that would uh, cause me to have a warped outcome, Rusty. Okay. But because it's within a Q and D, all it is is just a very pathetic roll. I go on to Rusty. Here's your card, Rusty. How about a nine instead? I just made the table a lot longer than it needed to be. Let's see. They seems they seems to have stronger oarsmen, so capitalize on your larger sails. Success and this encounter ends, but fail and suffer a minus one quest pip going forward. If the rank of the event is rare or catch all upon a fail, encounter escalates into combat using ship to ship as the, the lizard men engage to board. Oh, we Difficul now found out it's lizard men that are aiding the uh, lion people as well. Okay. Difficulty seven, advantage skill chart. Cartographer, Cartographer. Rusty. 
a seven on two dice. You can Let's make Let's see. That. Chart talk for sure. That's um, which which it's under which one i don't know it sounds like a methodical but it could be a clever let's take a look cartographer is a uh, it's neither cartographer is um oh i am a cartographer under under energetic oh it's under energetic it is a legion skill i should say it's a legion skill and i am so i'm looking for let's see three dice uh made it there you go and the encounter has ended Man. And we go back to our caucus region map, and we're still trying to get uh, two, I till. And I flip a card, and queen. A queen will at least get us across the Biblicide area. Uh, we already have a full boat of longbow techniques, except for the uh, encounter. Um, oh, the clue I forgot to give you. Let me give you that clue about the, uh, about the uh, wand of Harket. All right, so according to legend, the squabbling tribes of the Nile each prayed to the night sky to create a relic to be wielded by their respective kings. The carnage which may have ensued could have consumed the whole region. The gods intervened and linked the objects magically. Each is extremely powerful. However, as the relics move closer to one another, the power of the grouping is diminished. Eventually, one pharaoh ruled supreme he held all four relics, rendering them ordinary objects. I will post that in the chat for whoever is interested in reading it. But there are four objects of the Egyptian relics, of which you have only found one. And there were four ruins originally at the start of the game. I'm sure you can put two and two together. You do not know what the other three relics look like, but that can be an item of play to try to figure those out. I continue to flip the card with the queen, the devil card, the devil card under encounters. How bad could it be? Um, encounter devil. A previous night encounter, one traveling to player service has become a traitor. If none are present, treat instead as no future night events will uh, trigger an NPC, our ally to join. We did bring the castaways aboard, and I'm going to say that they uh, they turned on us. So the castaways have tried to cause a mutiny on our own vessel. Let's go over to fundamentals, and I believe we can have a ship battle and try to fight and defeat those uh, those people that we brought aboard. I'm up to Laura with the first card. Let me find the table for us. Uh, Not legion on legion, ship to ship. Ship engagements. Um, I'm going to put us right at a sail, command or outlandish, just like Cutlass. And there are banes, I think, for these. No, there are only banes on the uh, the retreat. All right, so Laura, would you like to would you like to a sail, command or outlandish? I don't want to go outlandish. <clears throat> Here comes your outlandish three. You brought a loot to the fight, but is now the time to learn to play stairway? I mean, in a stairway? Fail and knocked unconscious. Games large plus adversaries, the difficulty increases. Right? They are not large plus adversaries. One of the few times they're not. Uh, Blade Amalgam, I know you got. I think you picked it up this, this uh, go round. Two dice to a nine, or you're knocked unconscious. Three dice to a nine, I'm sorry. Yeah, we're not seeing what you're seeing. I'm we're seeing difficulty twelve advantage skill minstrel. Maybe I went over to uh oh I'm I yes, no, it is skill minstrel. Sorry, I just went straight down the column on my page rather than uh the way it uh it connected. You're you are correct. Twelve and Laura minstrel. rolled well. Laura Laura Laura's a minstrel? Get off our boat. <laughs> Minstrels, really. Okay, is that because you have every skill imaginable, Laura, at this point, or? I, I actually took that in one of the first, one of my first few levels, but I do have every skill for every, for all the traits that I have. Okay, wow, That's that is uh, that is very impressive. And uh, I'm just double checking here. Yeah, okay. And we're gonna go on, and we, uh, uh, you didn't, you just avoided the wound. I avoided knockout Mike for you. Uh, I'm sorry, did you want to sail, Commander Outlandish? I was going to go sail. 
Go ahead and take that uh, take four, that. then, please. The enemy desperately employs savage animals to thwart your plan. Success in game command, Pip. Regardless, all players take events on setback. Thanks, Conrad. Until one of them successfully gains the result of obstacle removed. Difficulty 13, skill houndsman. Uh, I think I am a houndsman because it's not a legion skill. Yes. So, 13 on three dice, roll thrice. There we go. We got a command pip, but everybody is forced on setback until somebody gets us out of there. All right, so Tony, with your setback card, how about if I give you the tower? Now he is. How about the tower? The crew is exhausted. The battle cannot be continued. No matter where the players are on the table, they immediately switch to retreat. Continue from there. Whether morale can be restored and the enemy can be attacked yet again, it's a critical part of the climax. It's entirely up to the referee. If the card was selected during the retreat escape, the player character is knocked unconscious. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to knock you unconscious instead by that result because we're actually fighting a mutiny, and if we were to go to retreat, it would probably mean that we abandon our, our own boat, and that probably would be a, a bad thing. Tony's knocked unconscious for the moment. His fate is determined by the rest of us, but he's in good hands. There's lots of swashbucklers. Comes over to me, and I get a force card. That force card says... That following the battle, the selecting player receives any personal swaggering technique as a bonus learned from the action. This bonus may not be used to make another te technique locked as glorious. If this board was selected during a sail to board, the player character is knocked unconscious. So I picked up a swaggering technique, and I too, just like Tony, because I would have picked a sail, am knocked unconscious. I will take uh, effective spurning as my uh, action. And we go on to uh, Rusty. Rusty, here's your card. Oh, I'm sorry. I should ask you: Are you a sail of Commander Outlander? Uh, Red, uh, I believe we are all forced into escape who, by Mike who, by the tower. Yeah, I, I, uh, I, I read that and I reinterpreted it as that Tony's knocked unconscious instead, Mike. Oh, okay. Yeah. In which and, case, I'm doing calculated. Uh, well, I mean, not calculated. I mean, uh, command. 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 How about a five, uh, Rusty? Let's see. Uh, a gut instinct tells you to adjust your forces on the assault. Success and gain catbird seed against large plus adversaries. The difficulty increases by three. Difficulty 11, advantage blade, a ingenious. They are not a large plus. And I have, uh, let's see. You were being bad. Blade ingenious i have blade ingenious uh let's see on 11 on three dice on three dice to gain or plus i three. can try and lock it as glorious but i'm, I'm not sure good. because the cat perceives nothing big to, to win or lose but no I'll, yeah. I'll i'll go ahead and three dice you made 11 it. you're plus three next time i go to laura laura you're back still doing uh outlandish Queen. Whoops. That was weird. Let me try that again. Uh, let me try a third time because uh, there is something on the table. Is it Queen Outlandish? Yeah. I don't know why I didn't paste the first couple times. Oh, let's uh, say here it is. Windows. Skill it's Acrobat. It, it probably was something wrong with the, the automatic copy thing and you're not knocked unconscious and we're all engaged commander mike coming to you how about to end uh, that card also puts uh, tony and i back in the battle queen uh i forgot to oh i'll engage commander um mike. yeah we're engaged for three so 
The bodyguard of the enemy leader are not pushovers like the rank-and-file crewmen. They're castaways. They'll roll and force back to boarding. All players will take actions as a sail command. Outlandish. Difficulty 8. Advantage. Blade. Galatorial R. I do not have a Galatorial Blade at the moment. But I... D eight, three dice, and... Hold on, I've got something else going on. I've got a command pip. So, from last time. So I may as well use that and just try and roll to gain gladiatorial go ahead need there it is okay mike has picked up gladiatorial kept us from declining in the method uh, tony your card as 10 under engage commander engage commander 10 uh this is from victor dupe the leader into thrusting while he leaves you're off balance up Optional success in enemy leader is dispatched for victory. The enemy vessel is captured. Claim one longboat swaggering as the reward, usually abundant stores. But fail and fall flat with the vicious wound. Or fall with the vicious wound. Difficulty 10, advantage, swagger, feigns. Let's see, do I have feigns? I do have feigns. It's even glorious. Uh, a 10 on three dice to uh, drown the, the castaways and take their belongings, and we pick up treasure from them. There you go. We're so mean. We have abundant <laughs> stores of rags and um, uh, rags, and because they're castaways, and a coconut. And, you know, okay. Well, they could have been bringing their altar with them, too. You know, a lot of these castaways are moving their religious relics and everything else. So, um, they, have, they have food, et cetera, for abundant stores. Yeah, you know, uh, do we have a slave driver in the group? At least yes. one? They, the, yes. The, one, the ones that surrender, we yes. sell to the, one. the Biblo sites, right? Yep. <laughs> Or, or Tony uh, makes uh, his amends with his uh, friends in the Saurians, and we turn them over to them. <laughs> uh, how about the Bibliocytes? Since the Bibliocytes tried to get the castaways to begin with, and we protected them from the lion people, and then they turned on us. So. I don't like the lion people, though. I'd much rather have this a Glintner thing. You know, the one the one apostate is saying Glintner should be more of a, of a mean warrior god, a killer. So maybe we just need to, you know, get a sick few of them uh, uh, uh hung and punished uh, or bring out the cleaver <clears throat> uh, two of swords is unfortunately not going to get us to where we want ten followed by two I think we got to you Tony uh, under the uh, pick up a free swaggering which one would you like to get on your uh, on your personal let's say um let's see here how about how about crushing blow G Crushing Blow sounds like a great one to G. Give me a roll of a three, please, to pick up Crushing Blow. Yep. And easy enough. Easy peasy. Next time we get uh, um, personal events, we'll uh, we'll make uh, other people teach other people. We're going to go to the next card flip, and I got the Sun card. The Sun card will advance the phase. We get to a till. Let me just look and see if there's something in a till we can quickly do in the next ten minutes. There probably is. And we don't want to pick up anyone in a till, but by reaching a till, we have completed, in essence, a mission. So now our roles are tasking. Uh, Rusty and uh, Mike and myself, I don't have any make rolls left. So let me see if I can make a tasking roll of 14. Probably not. I did not. Rusty, try to make your tasking roll of a 9, please. Made it. And you may check uh, your... Um, Either your desires fulfilled or your crafty deeds for that. And the uh, last one would be uh, Mike. Mm, Give me a roll of seven, that. please. Mike is going to burn a make roll. Can I instead have uh, travel for making it there? Sure. Uh, travel is part of a religious expedition. I'll give you that. And uh, the man has uh, the man has um, a. Uh, sorry, what, which uh, swaggering or, or uh, ignoble did you offer, Rusty? Uh, adventure, travel, intrigue for making it to overland to on a religious uh, pilgrimage, whatever to Attil. I've yeah. never been to Attil before, so you know what? I haven't either, and I've already got fame and growth, so I'll just join you in taking a travel. You're at eight, though, right, Mike? Uh, I am at eight. Okay, yeah, you're just doing funsies, is what you're telling me, right? Well, I've never been to Attil either. 
<laughs> that's fine. You're, but you're not checking nobles. I mean, <laughs> there's nothing. Well, there is I'm no checking nine. Checking nobles. There's just no level nine to get to. Okay, you can check. You can check the ignobles. There's there's no nine to get to. There's no there's no additional benefit you're going to get. But uh, I'm just clarifying. All right. So there is a twenty percent of the population here is Ossetia, and the population is about six thousand. So at twenty percent, if I do my math correctly, that's about twelve hundred people. Uh, we could try to convince some of those twelve hundred to move to Rostov. That would help us out. And the guy says that. Uh, the people from Os Os Osredia, um, Ossetia, I should say, are uh, uh, they're more of a rebellious, unruly folk. So he would be in favor of that. Who can rabble rouse or get these people to move to Rostov? Uh, say sure. five hundred of them, maybe. I'm sure several. No of takers. Them can rouse. I can rabble rouse. Me too. So can Laura. Uh, I can rabble rouse, rouse but as well. Yes, I am. Uh, I do not rabble rouse. Oh, I do rabble rouse. I probably <laughs> should be the one to try to make the roll because I can check uh, display of skills for it. Yep. Uh, for me, it's going to be a roll of a. Did I make level four? I did make level four. My roll went down. I need a five on two dice. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, one gets me a half die aid warped outcome, Rusty. Ah, uh, very uh, impressive. How about if I get? Uh, how about if what? What's a seventeen? You've, you've on the done it table? multiple times. A seventeen. Yeah, what's the worst outcome yeah. that table? Uh, seventeen. Seventeen is uh, uh, Tony's uh, our keeper of the warp. Character is exhausted of magical energy. May not use any magical ability for the rest of the adventure. He, you are now a magic null, which uh, auto shakens everybody in their recitation. Okay, I think we've seen this once before. We saw it in the yeah, other you, too. Yeah, you, you screwed me before. <laughs> yeah, so, well, that was a different character, but and I think it was, uh, uh, at one time, Laura, for a brief period of time, was an yeah. auto null, or Mike was. I can't uh, remember uh, how many Laura. weeks back. But yeah. it doesn't matter to point yeah. fingers. Uh, I'm basically saying that uh, it was Mike anyway, because Mike is the one that doesn't believe in magic. So even though I caused the fact that we got a magic null in the group, I'm a... Uh, I may be leaning toward Mike's philosophy that uh, magic doesn't exist. It's all, it's all fakery. Um, but I have, I did not convince the guys to come. So now it's going to increase by one. Who can make a roll of my uh, uh, a five rabble rouser for my level eights, a seven for my level seven? I'll do it. Mike is going to step forward. <laughs> Oh, well, if I'm the I, magic I laughed. Girl. I'm sorry. I thought, yeah, I thought I needed a six from you, Mike. But no, you made the five easily. We're going to put 500 people, 500 Ossetians. And uh, Mike, you may, you may choose them as, uh, as uh, levy farmers, which would be more of a soldier bent. Or you can put, uh, they are craftsmen potters that we're going to convert into metal uh, 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 smiths. Did we yeah. recruit mostly the crafts people or mostly the levy farmer uh, soldiers? I I would like to recruit the levy farmers as soldiers because I know Laura wants to be a general, but we are a religion of crafts people, so I'll take the crafts people. All right. He caveated it. That's very nice, Mike. You're helping our religion out and trying to keep it away from that the nastier elements of the world. We want to be peace, love, and understanding, I think, right? All right. Now, the one thing that's problem is the fact that the uh, the place has a religious flaw of no youths. Now, we got a guy that actually can solve that, right? Rostov has the religious flaw of no youths. Yeah, but uh, who's got a flying mount to go get him or who can open a portal and go get him, right? Well, everybody. <laughs> Anyone. Did we yep. want to relocate our our uh, angel uh, to uh, a till and he can start a chapter of our religion in the till? Is that something the group wants to do as their final decision of the evening? It it makes a till loyal I'm fine. to us as I'm fine to with doing that because it makes it a till friendly and makes it a till friendly, correct? And they're right in the one they're right on guarding our east. And they're, but they're also one of the four that we need to recruit uh, along with uh, Tumut, uh, Arakan, uh, Tiflis, and uh, what was the other one? Oh, Barda. Barda. Yeah. So. Um, any opposed? Somebody make me a roll. 
Rusty, it would be a three for you. Oh, Rusty, it would be a four for you. Three for Mike on Cosmic. Rusty made it easily. He didn't even use his make roll. <laughs> okay, we're, we're gonna we're gonna have Angel and the uh, the um, Wand of Hakat is going to be stationed in um, a till. And that can never go badly until the wand making everybody constantly pregnant means that they suddenly have a food shortage, shortage and can no longer feed their burgeoning population and they all go starving. No, I'm always just can... trying to anticipate the other they side don't... of the bread. Then, they, we, then they we have eat. the whole Caspian Sea deficient. Yeah, they got the well, they they got all these they got they can eat the brain eating saurian lizard men. They could eat the biblocyte if it gets that bad. It's not cannibalism if if they have a different head than a human head. But then we're then our religion of peace and crafts is starting wars, and you know. Well, I don't want that. Yeah. Is that what you're advocating? You need to stop advocating that as a head priest and take oh, your vows a little bit more seriously. I'm not advocating the starting the war. Actually, I was out of character trying to anticipate what. The I, next I don't. I don't know what's relic. what's with the negative ways, Moriarty. I mean, you gotta you gotta you gotta be thinking peace, love, and understanding from the start here. Peace, love, and understanding. Okay. Now that's where we're going to leave it. Uh, Mike um, and Laura, you enjoy your trip. I, I wish you best of luck. Make sure you uh, take some cold weather clothing there as well, though. Definitely. Right? Of course. 